ready for a miracle. All right. So today is a special day. It is double Ayaya coin day. Let's call them what they are. They're not mono coins anymore. They're double Ayaya coin day. Should we should we change the mono coin icon to the Ayaya so it taunts the weebs even more? How do you pronounce the stream title? Uh, Disco Elysium. Of course. Of course. Oh my God! Someone redeemed the dab. How how many how many times is is Lee gonna have to come upstairs today? Oh my God! It gets worse and worse. All right. Oh my God! I didn't tell Lily. I didn't warn her. I didn't warn Lily that, about the dabs. Shh. Shit. <laughs> Look at all the <laughs> Oh my god, it's Attack of the Week! <laughs> Look at the shit! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, Wedia EMB, the hero, used 10k on literally nothing instead. Nice. Nice. Look at Attack of the Weaves. Look at this. God damn. God damn. man there's so many there's so many what the fuck oh my god all right let me go to discord They're still coming. <laughs> They're still coming in. What the fuck? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna set off a twitch alarm. <laughs> there's there's 44 requests in the in the queue. Ah. <laughs> uh... You thought we were kidding. You took this. You took this for a slightly in bad taste joke, but look at this shit right here. We will have a Yaya. The access can't be stopped. Glory to a Yaya. <sighs> Glory to a Yaya, indeed. Congratulations, As Astamita, for using 10k on literally nothing instead of a Yaya. Good job. Good. <laughs> the few, the proud, the heroes. Contadex as well. Good job. Good job. We will fund a Yaya redeemed for the Yaya Monocoin fund. Damn. Damn. King Ross. Use 10k on literally nothing instead of a Yaya. <laughs> Devil 58 used 20k on literally nothing. <laughs> Shimko sick and surprise. The more I read it out, the more I read it out, the more coins get wasted. T-Rex 13470. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe this shit. So how's it going, everybody? 
How's it going, everybody? Uh, so for the the rewards that are being cashed in that, that I can do something right now, I'm going to wait for it to set a little bit, and then we'll do them in a batch instead of constantly interrupting. Um, and I'll call Lily, and we'll do a bunch of dabs all in a row. Uh, and that's it. Uh, first of all, before we start, I have a question for, for, for a bunch of you. Um, do any of you know a game that is a first-person shooter? Okay, do you know how... Do, most of you probably have either heard of this in Morrowind, because I'm, I'm sure most of you probably haven't played Morrowind. Um, so in Morrowind, you can run up to an enemy and you can hit the enemy with your sword, and the sword can actually connect with the enemy, and it'll still show up missed because it does a roll check of, of the hit rating against the enemy. Do you know what I mean? So even though you physically hit the enemy, it still says you missed, right? Um, do, you, do any of you remember a first-person shooter that worked like that? Because I remember playing one and I can't remember what it was called. Do you, n not XCOM, like a first person shooter, like, like you're in control, you actually have to aim. And then the bullet hits the, the, the enemy and it still says you missed. Fallout 3, I don't think Fallout 3 does it that way. Stalker, really? Stalker? Stalker is something similar? Borderlands feels like that sometimes. Hellgate London. I remember playing Hellgate London. I changed my name appropriately. Oh, Assistant Weeby is now Assistant Ayaya. Wow. I've made a cult. Nice. I've made a cult. I've always wanted to be a cult leader. I've made a cult. Whoops. The Witcher 2. Oh, maybe that's why I'm asking Ziggy Stardust. You solved the mystery. Good job. You've inspired hope with us all. How many days have you been going on to Scalia's in? This feels this feels like a massive game. It's I'm playing it really slowly. Um there's, there's a lot of interruptions on our stream for, honestly, I think there might be starting to be, well, not starting, there is, I think there might be too many interruptions on the stream and I should focus more on playing the games a little bit more. Uh, I tried to do the better the last couple of streams and I think I've mostly been successful. Um, but yeah, there's a, th there's a lot of interruptions on the stream and also I'm reading everything out loud. So, um, we'll see, but people seem to like the engagement that we're, we're talking. It's not just about playing the games. I know some of you pr would prefer it if we just played the games though and cut down on the bullshit, but we'll see. I think I think I can do better a uh, better compromise. Okay. Shivers legendary. Why hasn't her business failed? All right. Do we have any shivers shivers clothing? Uh, we should probably take her clothes off if we want more shivers, right? <laughs> wow, the dog's going going ape shit. Okay, one second. This guy's really loud. I'm gonna mute the microphone for a second.
Okay, sorry about that. It was some solicitor asshole. Alright, um... I think we got all the shivers before I left, right? A what? A solicitor asshole. You know, someone who just comes to the door trying to sell something and just won't go away. <sighs> what are you talking about? I'm the cult leader, you're at fault, but you have no control here. <laughs> A gust of cold air sweeps through the chimney. The stones and minerals on the shelves rattle as though agitated. For a moment, it almost feels as though you're outside the building, exposed to the atmosphere. Hey, Neha, the curse is real, and I figured out why it has spared you. This is just a theory, but hear me out. I think I know why your business hasn't failed. Didn't we already talk about this, she asks, as the wind continues to seep through the cracks in the old chimney. It's because you aren't... Because you're not... It's because you're not in the same building as the others. This isn't technically the Dune commercial area. What are you talking about? She says, shaking her head. My address is exactly the same. Rue de Saint Gislain 10. No, the old coal plant that used to be here was subsumed into the new venture. It's ruined, swallowed up, yet it has a different address in the heart of the city. No, this used to be a coal plant. Touch the safety curtains. You're in a chimney of another building. This doesn't make any sense. She looks around at the, in the makeshift nest that she has carved out for herself, bewildered. Are you saying my business was spared because of a technicality? Where is this coming from? Let's say I have my own my own methods, unusual methods. It has a different address in the heart of the city. I'm just using logic. It's windy in here. You probably haven't been properly you probably haven't properly sealed the chimney crown point above. What? Um I mean kinda one, right? We have unusual methods. Let's go two. And what does it mean? And what does it mean? I'm safe from failure. Don't let her become complacent. She still needs to ward her soul against the evil forces. Actually, it's not only your workshop that's protected. You should still do something to defend your person. No one's really safe from the failure. One. She starts laughing, her fingers trying to rub away the exhaustion from her face. I want to talk about something else now. What? Do you know what this is? She raises her hand to, to reveal a piece of metal shining on her index finger. Your lucky charm, some kind of ward. Looks like a regular piece of jewelry to me. I don't care what it is. I only came to tell you about why you haven't failed yet. Whoa, number one. It's a morning ring, she replies. I made this when my first company failed. It was a small jewelry shop right here in the East Delta Com Commerce Center, built with the little I inherited from my parents. I drove it to the ground within a year i didn't have to t i didn't have what you would call a viable business plan see the curse is real i bet you didn't run this little ju jewelry shop from the protected depths of the chimney and making dice is, is better number one no you're right i didn't she laughs again but it sounds rather small and sad it wasn't just a jewelry shop either i always thought it was just the world that you were supposed to try again and again until you finally succeed and now you're telling me what she closes her eyes that it was all because I didn't run my little shops and ventures from a dump inside an abandoned chimney. Don't call it a dump. You've made it nice and cozy here. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. It's entropy. <laughs> what? Yes, coincidence is all that safeguards us. Yeah, number three. Yeah, she stares out of the window, not really hearing what your words. Or maybe it's the entire world that's cursed. It's such a precarious place. Nothing ever works out the way you want it. That's why people like role-playing games, so you can be whoever you want to be. You can try again. Still, there's something inherently violent even about dice rolls. It's like every time you cast a die, something disappears. Some alternative ending, or an entirely different world. She picks up a pair of dice from the table and examines them under the light. Cool meta. But anyway, thanks for... Anyway, thanks for sharing your theories, officer. She gives you a tired, a tired smile. It's just a, a game theory. I'm sorry, I'm a bit overloaded just now. I'm going to produce one dice per, die per customer. Wow, you're just so successful. All right, is this a good one? Temporary research bonus. All red checks fail. What the fuck? This must be really, really good one. What well, I don't have a use case picture because I had the um, I had the um, the screen all all of it turned off for uh, the the musical intro, and I forgot to turn it back on again because I'm a bad streamer. So this is based off the the stunning the stunning um, uh, 
clothes we found yesterday that I can't show you because it's in the way right now. Hold on. Okay, so I moved it to the side. So we can put uh, our uh, kimono on. There we go. And the white tank top and the bow tie. There you go. There we are. Is that right? Are those the right glasses? I think so, yeah. Yeah, they are. Perfect. Perfect. We're styling. Or as as the millennials say, we're vibing. Or is that a Zoomer thing? Gonna be honest with you guys right now. I don't really know what vibing means. And at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Uh, thank you, thank you for this uh, Q2. Again, I'm I'm so impressed that you've been able to keep this up and uh, that you're matching the outfits that we find. I'll try and make this the default um, outfit for today. Thanks for streams as always. Oh, you're very welcome, Q2. I'm a VOD boy and I don't have many coins to spend because Twitch hates us. Can you can you get me a special discount for 2,040 coins on abso on absolutely nothing? Wow. Wow. You know what? I will. I will. Just for you. Just for you. I will. I will. Two thousand and forty, you say? Give your word a name. Special two thousand and forty, absolutely nothing reward. There you go. It exists. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> And just to think, this is actually 40,080. Uh, f it's like 4,080. Because it's double day. It's 4,000. Oh my god. <laughs> they give us an Ayaya version of it too? No. <laughs> I can't believe you guys, man. I can't believe you guys. My job is one point here is done. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Lou Late. Oh, shit. How does this happen to us? We have so many happy stream accidents. Things coming together really, together really nicely. Oh. By the way, as for discount at 24, 2040, meaning sure price at 7.7960. Oh, did he? I'm sorry, I misread. <laughs> oh, are the weebs complaining? Weebs. Okay, come on, weebs. Weebs. All right. In my, in my thing, I have right now 22 Oyaya Monocoin Fund re redemptions. And that's just the, the, the 20k ones. The 10k ones have 52. Like, come on, weebs. Come on. Special 2040 has over 100. <laughs> this, is, this is a good day for weebs. 
Hey Joe, got a fan art and a generic meme, but in spirit today, I'm only gonna show the meme. If you if you take forty thousand mana coins off of Yaya, I swear I'm not a weeb. I'm I'm I just like a good underdog story. But it's linked. You linked it. Oh, it can't be found. What? Cause you put a period on it on the end. The, the, is that it? Is is that the, is that the mystery? That's all I had to do was take the period off the end. Like, that, that's unlocked. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Knight Knighted Sensei, I will I will take forty thousand mana coins off of Yaya for this for this, which I I am more than fair, doubles up to eighty thousand because it's because it's double the mana coin day. All right, there you go. There you go. So someone remind me at the end when we take it all off that there's an extra 80,000 that I have to take off because of this. I am generous. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna make it figure to read this. Uh, you, let's see the f the. F <laughs> you are once again greeted with a wall of text that will take another twenty minutes to finish before starting the game again. Knighted Sensei, so what's it gonna be, Joe? No way, Weave. You just don't understand how the modern coin economy works. Disagree. Too fine. Take away 40,000 auto coins. Agree. Suggestion formidable. 40 is that 45 or 43? Convince chat to only take off 20,000 auto coins. Suggestion heroic. 17. Convince chat to only take off 5,000 auto coins. Drama medium. 92%. Uh, Make a poll and let chat decide on the payment f fate of the art. Authority impossible. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I have no authority on my own stream. It's absolutely right. Demand to see the art or to ban Knighted Sensei. R Rhetoric, legendary 17, 6%. Convince chat that Knighted Sensei is bullshitting and has no second fan art. Tri oh, I misunderstood. Tricking you into releasing the art by itself. Inland Empire, question, question, question. Make your own choice. All right. All right. Well, I already committed. I already committed. I, I rolled a, cr a critical failure and gave over way more than was necessary. There's, there's my cut. You can't see my mouse when I'm when I'm mousing over it. There's a there's the two B figurine. Fairly accurate with how the the monitors are set up actually. Uh, same co right color chair, yeah. Alright, so I have to add two to the thing, is that it? Okay, I need I need it linked to me again, because I missed the link. Sorry. It's gone. It's gone. What is that at the bottom? It says uh note artist depiction of the dragon's den. Why is he streaming out a bombed out room? Because it's Moncton. This is what Moncton looks like. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. Oh, it worked all right. It worked. <clears throat> Give it up. You'll never defeat us. You are but one man. You may be right. I am only but one reviewer, one man. No one person has ever reviewed the three Witcher games and all their lore, let alone critique them. Even so, I am surrounded and supported by my fans, a loving and caring family, weebs and non-weebs. As long as I believe in myself and continue to have hope, I will defeat you. 10 hour Witcher series. Aw, that's surprising, surprisingly wholesome. Aw, thank you. Surprisingly wholesome. Aw. Thank you.
Thank you, United Sensei. Why why have pickles become become wholesome? Why are pickles wholesome hope? Hope, Hajime. Thank you, United Sensei. Oh yeah, we're playing a game. All right, um, shit. All right, so let's put a, a tool. What do we have in here? We usually carry on the bag, right? Are you gonna play Kentucky Route Zero now? It's finished. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I've I've wanted to play that for a while. We'll probably stream that and I'll read it out loud if it doesn't have voice acting. I don't know much about about the uh, Kentucky Route Zero. Did you open the ice cream maker already? No, we need to uh, get rid of our thought first. I reloaded like a like a scumbag redditor to try again uh, after we lose our minus two percent physical instrument because um because we we can't level our physical instrument up anymore because we don't have any physique. Uh, I missed it. Is this a good one, chat? Is um is the precarious world a good one to get? Should we get this? I don't I don't mind cheating a little bit for what these are good because I don't want to waste time um going for them. Not really. It's pretty man. Oh damn. Okay. Kuno can sell you pants to help you with the ice cream maker? What? Kuno doesn't sell me shit right now. Do I have to go deal with his problem first? Fuck, this Kuno okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing I have to go and beat up his dad first, which isn't going to go well, is it? I want Kim there for that. Alright, I'm going to go to sleep. I know we're wasting like an hour or two here, but I want to go to sleep. Let's just go to sleep. Skibba bee, skid a danger. I am the rearranger. Hardcore. Incremental progress. Yeah, that's pretty much sums up how we're playing the game, right? <laughs> Man, have you ever considered doing a video about the corporatization of the gaming industry and how terrible it is? Been noticing this for some time. Your tweet on thread about Blizzard deciding to take all take fan maps for themselves. I mean, think you'd be, you'd be perfect for a takedown video. Do you think so? I don't think I would do that very well. I, I don't think I'm perfect for that. I don't really have uh, my fingers on the pulse of the of the corporate side of the game industry. Um, like I, I think I barely know what I'm doing with with just talking about games as art. But yeah, I don't think I'm that kind of that kind of person that could do that. With a, enough commitment, yeah, probably, yeah. Anyway, while we're uh, while we're listening to this chill music, let me say thank you to some people who subbed and, and donated some bits before I get behind. And uh, with all of the the hyperactivity going on with the monocoins today, um, I wouldn't expect a, a, a lot of progress to be done in today's stream, but we'll see. I just want you guys to to know that up front. Double waifu. Uh, who was the last person we said thank you to yesterday? Was it was it Kwalk sixty nine? I think so. Yeah, I think so. So while the stream, no, there's Cel Celestino. I remember saying thank you to to them. Um, Ralph Cogs with his communism joke. Okay, I think we go. We, we start from here. Uh, thank you, Pocket Starfish, for 100 bits. I'm going to keep doing it. It's the only thing I can spend coins on. I'm not sure if this came in at the end of the stream yesterday or I read this out already and I can't remember. Sorry if that's the case. Uh, Dragon555 has resubscribed for 26 months. Thank you very much, Dragon555. 
fellow fellow dragon, of course. It links to what the sub messages to after this. Thank you, uh, Rafiki Kojak. I think that's how that's correctly pronounced uh, for the six month three sub. Love the Elysium streams. It's so interesting watching how differently someone else interacts with a game like this. Yeah, I think you could probably play this game. I don't, I don't know how many times, but I'm I'm gonna guess at least four, and you could have a, a very different experience. Maybe maybe the ending doesn't respond that well to different things that you can do, but yeah, I I think. I'm going to say at least four. You could have four significant um, playthroughs of this where you see different stuff. But maybe not. Maybe less than that. Uh, thank you, Suddenly Wolf, for the 2 month resub. Hey, Joe, has anyone ever told you your dragon dad persona is super handsome? I'd let him disco my Elysium any day of the week if you know what I mean. Winky3. Thank you so much for that, Suddenly Wolf. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that I got that message. Thank you. Thank you, a cat named Doge for the 28 sub. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> Thank you very much, cat named Doge. I wonder what side you're on. The right or wrong side of history. Uh, thank you, Johnny Rage Twitch, for the 18 three sub. Sub should count toward a as well. Should they? And see, that's where I draw the line. If we could do that, I, I wouldn't do it because I don't want people spending money for a yaya. -ya. This is just a this is just a joke. I don't want I don't want people committing resources to it. Um, technically, it kind of does already, but it, it also goes the other way too. I think subs get more mono coins or points or whatever. Uh, Puck of Starfish, use another 50 bits. Face it, Joe, you rumbled yourself. Maybe the weebs will hit 0.01% uh, of the goal today. Exactly. Damn, the weebs are gonna get me. The weebs are gonna get me. Actually, I think they'll. I think they'll comfortably hit over a million today. Maybe they already have. Maybe two million. I'm not sure. We'll see how high it gets. We'll do the final tally at the end of the stream. And we'll have some fun with that. Uh, thank you, Alpha Horizon, for the 14 month resub. I don't have the mono coins to spend on literally nothing instead of a yaya, but if I did, I'd have I'd have literally nothing. <laughs> thank you, Alpha Horizon. Uh, Rune H is resubscribed for two months. Hi Joe, thanks for all the great content. Has helped pass the time over the years when I can't do much because of my health. Hope you enjoyed my dumb drawings. I very much have, and I'm glad that the content can help you with that, Rune H. It's always nice to 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 hear that the videos and the streams can help help someone with that. It's not never nice to hear that someone's in that situation, but yeah, th th those messages um, actually mean a lot to me, so thank you. Uh, Zorgrox uses 100 bits. I don't have that plugin or whatever, so I will literally never be able to see a Yaya, but I got six coins left and nothing else to spend them on, so make a six coin, uh, six K, six K coin reward, you coward. Okay, we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll do, maybe I will do a smaller, a smaller cash in one at the end for anyone who's who's lingering around. Maybe. Not promising. Maybe. We'll see. Thank you, Doc Robins, for the 100 bits. Watch the weebs struggle for hope. <laughs> Joe Senpai. <laughs> They're gonna get there. They're gonna get there. They're pushing up that boulder that's just gonna roll back down the hill again. Thank you, Akasa Kaspicy. AKA, AKA Saka Spicy, maybe? Is there a capital letter? Let me mouse over. Uh, no, it's all lowercase. Uh, for the two and three sub, oh, I thought they were soliciting their A. No. <laughs> An asshole solicitor. No, or solicitor asshole. No, it was just, just, some, just some guy uh, trying to sell something. Yeah. This, we had a, 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 a an unplanned break because I had to go downstairs and help Lily do something. That, that That's what it was. If you weren't here for that and you don't understand. Thank you, Mephilic, for the six month three sub. I log in Twitch once every Pope's death. But hell, if I don't resub to you, Dragon Daddy. Thank you, Methylic. <laughs> that's that's a weird way of saying something. <laughs> Thank you, Methylic. Are you on the side of Iaya or not? Thank you, Munch That Crunch, for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to Pelt Patrol. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome to the wrong side of history, um, or the right side of history, depending on if you're with Iaya or not. Welcome to the right side of history or the Ayaya axis. There you go. We can say that. We can say that. Slygamer64 used a thousand bits. Since I can't give you Patreon money next month, I'll settle for giving you bits. Good good luck with the Witcher video. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Slygamer64. Uh, in case you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, I pause Patreon for February because um, I'm in the last stage, or I'm very, 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 very soon going to be in the last stage of post-production for Witcher, and um, I, I don't I, I don't want the pressure of Patreon anymore. Like, so I, I just close it down. So, like, I, I'll pull it back up when the, when the video is done. I have no idea 
idea how long the post-production phase is going to take. Um, I'm going to take a, a week off from it and I'm not going to look at it for a week. And then when I come back, uh, it might take a couple of days. It might take weeks. I have no idea. I've never had to do like a big post-production phase on a project before, uh, but it's over 10 hours long. So um, yeah, we'll see. So that's why in case, in case you don't understand um, the message. Uh, thank you, Slygamer64. Uh, thank you, the Acidic Vengeance. That's just, you know, that becomes your whole life. The older you get, watch out for that. Uh, for the 213 sub with Ayayaya. I don't know how the Axis is going to feel about the extra yeah, Acidic Vengeance. <sighs> thank you, Otsetera, for some bits. This stream has become 50% game and 50% meta stream. <laughs> I think it's more like 2575. Uh, thank you, AKA Saka Spicy, for, uh, for another 100 bits. Do I get mono coins if I use these? I don't think you do. I think if you give any bits, you get like a modifier to your to your mono coins or whatever. That's how it works on every stream. But please, 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 please don't 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 like sub or give bits to get extra mono coins. Please don't engage with the meme that way. Please, please, please. That's that's not the point of it. Like seriously, it's that's not the the reason for it. Uh, thank you, Saren, for the 913 sub. Hey, Joe, I like you. Or now that you're my waifu, should I say I love you? I love you too, Saren. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Why should we have to deny it? Uh, thank you, Zorgrox, for the 100 bits as well. Never mind, Joe. I spend I spend the rest of my coins on literally nothing. <laughs> if you play both sides, you can't lose. JPH Pickle. All right, and the last four on my list is Bardiox with 500 bits, JPH Yusuke. If I redeem 15k for the waifu shadow reward today, can I truly have two waifus at the same time? Is that even legal? Yes, I, I will. I will modify the message and I will say they are your best girls, and they are your Mormon wives or your Mormon waifus. Wife, wife wives, wifis. What's the plural of white? Is it white? Is it just waifus? Wife is wives. Wife, wives, foo? Wifen? Wario? Wario, Wario. They're your Wario. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. What have we become? Uh, thank you, Bruxy, for the 4 3 sub, or Brucey. Not sure, one of those two. And that's a quarter, boys. How, uh,. How I, I assume that this is something to do with the yeah yeah. I assume. I assume. What why Vus? Which side are you on, Brucey? What's your end game? What's your end game, Ayaya Access? Thank you, Deadly Muffin 5, for the 313 sub. Thank you very much. Hope you're well. I said Space Man used some bits to say, is Time Sinkers a Joseph Anderson approved name uh, to the Phantom Thieves on Persona 5? <laughs> yeah, sure. Time sinkers. Yeah, it, it matches. Yeah, time sinkers is pretty good. I don't know if we're going to be the ass eaters again. Not sure. Left to Live says, You cannot stop me. Uh oh. And then Punker Starfish, last on my list is, Have you ever banned anyone in chat? Would you consider using the Monocoin AI donate donators as a list? <laughs> That's it. We, it's all about outing the weaves. That's what this whole thing has been about outing the weaves. Oh, shit. Zara91 has resubscribed for 13 months. Hey, Weaves, I have 40k coins. Give me a reason to use them on Ayaya. Oh, man, 40k. That's two cash-ins. Okay, Weaves or no Weaves, present your argument. Make your argument to Zara91. Thank you for the uh, deliberation, Zara91. The bed underneath you is soft. If lumpy, waves wash the sand underneath the hut, then grow distant to your ear. In the quiet hum of the organic heater, you fall asleep. Limbic system. Like a deftly cast fishing net, sleep pulls you out of the world and into its dark shore. The rough mess chafes. Then, tightening around you, it digs into your brain great this is gonna be really chilly dark shore my ash my my ash my ass don't bring up ass in front of the ass eaters i know what this is yeah yeah just let me sleep great it's gonna be really how chilly. have things been going for you out there helped anyone lately saved anyone lately murdered anyone lately it's lizard blaine this bastard isn't even listening to you. Because you know you are a murderer. 
A disco music listening psycho killer who offs poor people. And then forgets about him. I don't care. That doesn't scare me. Okay, so I'm a murderer and that's bad. Shut up. I just want to sleep too. Hear that? He doesn't even flinch. Iceman doesn't care about killing people. That's nothing to him. Blackwater. Under the bridge. The thing he's really scared of is much, much worse than that. What is it? Why are you doing this? I just want to sleep. I can almost see the dark. Don't tell him, sister. It's too bad. They're right. This is their function, to keep you from it. Why are you doing this? I just want to sleep. I can almost see the dark. We're trying to help you. All these processes, these tortures, voices and tremors are all just distractions, flares and countermeasures to keep you from the last dream, the worst of them all. The last dream? The last dream will be total annihilation. Cinders, peeling off the fuselage. We won't be there to help you anymore, Harry. We will be dormant. You will be naked and alone. And the air will smell of apricots. Her face forms in summertime. I don't want, I don't, I don't want to anymore. I don't want to think either one of those things. Number two. In hell, an ancient sadness, brava. 10,000 years later, in front of the video rental, there is a warm breath on your face again. Everything is okay again. Everything is so okay. Doesn't sound like it will be okay. Your eyelids flutter open for a moment. When you close them again, you sense the light of the room around you. You're back. In two seconds, the alarm will ring. The last thought in your head before waking is, maybe you shouldn't have seen that stained glass window in the church. Huh. Uh, so Limbic and uh, Lizard B Blaine were um, also in chat at the moment with Zyre91 and uh, Limbic System 1 and Zyre91 has uh, decided to become a weeb and has donated to the Ayaya Monocoin Fund. So uh, it's, a, it's a good day for weebs. It's a bad day for Zyre91. Open your eyes. I really like those interactions with the uh, with the limbic system and the uh, ancient reptilian brain. I really like those. Those might be my favorite parts. Just thought something on the day the Witcher vid launches. Are you are are you planning on making the Ayaya coin funds worth ten times as much or something like that? Was that your trap? Nope. No, we're not gonna do that. No. Good morning, Kim. Yes. Okay, so did the day reset? I the sea's gonna No it didn't. Okay, so we can go and do the thing for Kuno. Um, we have to wait to get this down before we can progress the church. I don't know, like 12 hours and 55 minutes. That's a lot. That's going to be like a whole other day, right? Um, what other checks do we have? 
barbell physical instrument. I wonder if that will just permanently increase our physical instrument if we get that done. We can go try that one on the way to, to doing who knows whatever. Oh, we didn't tell the cryptozoologist about that. All right, let's go do that, and then we'll and we'll do the the, the Kuno thing. You gonna try and get your gun back? I don't know. I don't know where the gun is. I feel like um the 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 union boss has it, and we have to do shit for him. And I'm, I'm not really comfortable doing shit for him. I'm trying not to progress every single thing that's possible. I'm trying to I'm trying to uh play within the bounds of what my I think my character would do. I, I'm not going to go as far as to say that I'm role-playing. I am a little bit, but I'm not role-playing that much. You're new, aren't you? Who are you? Officer, I care to play a game with a lonely old man. Did your friend die? Actually, never mind. It wouldn't be the same. Where is Rene? The prick is gone, he replies, trying to smile. I, I can barely believe it, but he's really gone. Gone, gone where? Gaston sighs and mumbles more to himself than you. Hell, most likely, he was an absolute cunt. How did he die exactly? Was he really that bad? I offer my sincere condolences, conclude. How did he die exactly? His angry little heart finally gave out, he sighs. The dock work workers found him in the guard booth this morning. Wasn't even supposed to be working for another week, but he just had to prove how... Th how... Tho he is? Tough he is? Did he feel like he has to prove he can still pull his weight? Doesn't need handouts? Guess he was about to head home. Because when the dock workers found him, he was wearing civilian clothes and not the cockatoo uniform I saw him in all the time. Sometimes I thought he was wearing it just to piss me off. Gaston smiles a sad smile. Now the joke's on him because he's going to gonna be buried without it. I would like to have this cockatoo uniform. Do you think our conversation about his job pushed him to go out there? No, he replies quickly. Rene was the most stubborn man in Ravishal. Nothing you or I could say would ever push him to, to do anything. The man was completely immovable. He has his doubts, but right now, he just wants to move on and not think about it. Was he really that bad? I repeat, an absolute cunt. He turns to look at the crater. Even his old army buddies didn't want him around. He was like an old viper. The only people who could stand to be around him were Jeannie and me. He pauses. She saw something in him when we were just kids, and his voice trembles, and she never lost sight of it. And I thought it was. And I thought if the most beautiful being in the world can love him, okay, that makes sense, then there must be something worth holding on to. Did you love him? We've hated each other our entire lives, so much in fact that he falls silent and looks at you, eyes filling up with tears. Yes, I, I love that angry prick. He didn't deserve it, but I did. He wipes his eyes with a sleeve. You know what his last words to me were? Something mean, that he's sorry? Some right-wing royalist slogan? Something forgettable, like see you tomorrow probably? Something mean? In Guillaume's time, you'd have been shot without a trial. That's what he said to me. The old man gathers himself and wipes his eyes again. He, he lived a cunt and he died a cunt. Let's leave it at that. Here, something to remember your friends by. Give him the photograph of Rene and the girl. Let me see. Gaston takes the photo, hands trembling. This was 60 years ago. We all went to that parade. Young Rene looks so happy and Jeannie, eyes blurry with tears, he has to stop. I'm sorry, officer. I just... He dries his eyes. Thank you. Thank you for this little memorabilia. It really means the world to me. That was nice, Lieutenant Smiles. A small thing for us, been valuable to him. He probably didn't even know Rene had the photo. All right, can I have the sandwich now? Can I have the sandwich? I gave you... Old people die, you better get ready to. I offer my sincere condolences. Yes, Lieutenant nods. We are both very sorry for your loss. It is what it is, part of life, really. He mumbles, only half listening to you. But to know someone for 79 years, then one day they're just gone. I just don't know anymore about anything, really. He slowly shakes his head, then remembers your presence. But you, you must need something. I want to go over a few more things about Rene, if that's okay. Yes, he looks up. Okay, we're done. Bye for now. Alright. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. That's kind of cool. I like it when games have NPC um, progression. Like, their stories progress completely separate from what's going on with you. I talk about that in, in Witcher 1. Witcher 1 does that really, really well.
Hello, officer. I think I almost have it. A new trap design, that is. I know you're skeptical, but I have a good feeling about this. I had a chat with this kid, Kuno. He promised to stop stealing the locusts. The cryptozoologist purses his lips, so it was just a child. He looks crestfallen. Thank you for telling us, sweetie. He turns. She turns to smile gently up at her husband. This is a good. This is good news, right? It means we can try again. She acts chipper, but something's changed in her tone. A hidden worry. Something is secretly gnawing at her confidence. It's not this Kuno kid or the missing locusts. It's something else. Yes, you're right. We just need to restock the empty trap. Then we need to inspect the traps one more time, and then maybe we can. The aging crypto cryptozoologist breaks into a hideous coughing fit. She looks at him with tender concern. Darling, I told you to take it easy. You're getting sick. Maybe it's time to go home. You're right. You're right. That's just, I'm just, just such a great voice actor. He breathes carefully, not to start coughing again. We can come back next season when it's warmer. That's just something people tell themselves when they fail. Man, I'm really feeling this, this is costing me time on my main investigation. <laughs> I'm, it's not worth risking your health. You should call it a day and go home. I'd offer to help, but I have my own things to do. Damn it! Maybe I can maybe I can still restock the trap for you. Except we've come this we've come too far to quit. I'm gonna restock the trap. Let's do this. Except enthusiastically, we're getting really carried away with this, aren't we? He makes a show of suppressing a sigh. Fine, it's better than having these people get pneumonia on the coast. But after this, he wants to see this tale through as much as you. Otherwise, he'd have stopped this already. But he he can't. But he can not let it drag out after this. Really, it's too much officer, officer. Too much officer, sorry. Just added a word. He starts coughing again. What moral means is we're grateful for your help, she nods to her husband. Here's a fresh batch of locusts. They should slide right down the funnel and thank you again. We will definitely mention you should this lead to a discovery. I'm not talking co-discovery, of course, but... Wow, co-discovery? You'd be famous. You'd show them all. This does tingle the pleasure center. Nice. Okay, what did we need to, to get to get through this guy? Again, I can't believe this shit. Okay, we failed this four times, didn't we? We failed this four fucking times. 83%. Finally, you know what it is. It's like the two of you know each other. Just ask him. Tell me the truth. Do you know me from somewhere? Oh, I definitely know you from somewhere. Another life from where? From another life. Yes, from another life, a different life. Maybe the life of a police officer belonging to the ranks of, of the, he pauses. To what station do you think you would belong to this alternate, al to, in this altern alternate and totally fictional reality? <laughs> 41st. Okay, okay, the man sounds genuinely excited. That's plausible, it's entirely plausible. Now we're really getting somewhere. He gives you a long, meaningful look and adds, somewhere good. Let's talk more about that hypothetical Station 41 you mentioned. Oh, the hypothetical 4-1. Yeah, let's fantasize about that. He blinks aggressively. I'm not busy. You're not busy. Let's just play around. So what would our relationship be in this alternate universe? Do you have a crime to solve? Who else, who else are... Who else are in our imaginary police station? Eh, okay. Number one. Let's be crazy. Let's say you and I are partners. How's that for a thought experiment? Like partners in crime, or you seem like a cool guy. I'd love to have you as my partner. You seem like a bit of a drag. I could do better. Kim's cooler than you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he's fucking flattered, but Kim is not part of this thought experiment. In this one, we're partners. Lieutenant is silent. Like partners in crime, or no, he exclaims excitedly, because in this thought experiment, we are police officers in a police station. We don't do crimes. We're not crime bros. Come on, stop it, she says quietly. Do you have a crime to solve? Oh no, no, no. You see, I enjoy watching other better cops solve crimes, and let me tell you, it's been quite a privilege seeing you work. This isn't helping, she says, shaking her head and looking at the man with, with sunglasses disapprovingly. Who else... In our imaginary police who else are in our imaginary police station i feel like that should be who else is in our imaginary police station you're not going to believe this but the man pauses for dramatic effect police officers you sir yes sir solving crimes locking up bad guys and and get this and not getting their drink on at two o'clock <gasps> Just some regular boring motherfuckers in suits and uniforms. Nothing spectacularly extravagant like you. The far out son of Lung. Who is the far out son, son of Lung? That's hard to say. Oh, it's you, you eccentric genius. He winks at you sarcastically. I mean, with your unorthodox approach to police work, it has to be you. Want, want to tell me about him or her? Not even a little bit. 
It's an urban myth, the lieutenant says quietly, about an officer who is so far undercover he can't remember who he is. As I said, just an urban myth. You're not the son of Lung. He's trying to protect you from further rough handling. Dashed out by this sunglassed man. Damn, Kim is just best boy. Best boy. Okay, yes, you get the joke. Leave it at that. I can't imagine any more, conclude. Neither can I, partner. Neither can I. His gray eyes suddenly flash above the glass frames. They feel sad. It's a mere second, but it feels like you saw something. A gram of compassion in the sadness. Okay, then, see you around. Esprit de corps. Okay, the man with the sunglasses and his hypothetical station 41. Weird, right? I know, super weird. I guess it was kind of weird. No, this whole interaction was perfectly normal. I know, super weird. There's something we're missing here, something we can't put our finger on. You know what? Just ask him. I know it sounds crazy, and, and you'll probably get laughed at, but still, I was thinking the same thing. I should just ask him if we're from the same station. <laughs> yes, just cross it off the list. It's probably not true, though. What? Again. I can't believe this shit. Look, I just have to ask, are we from the same police station? I'm going to say no. Just just to see what you'll you'll say to that. What do you say? Okay. <laughs> okay. Gene, he said, okay, give it a rest. Okay, I was clearly wrong. He is a firefighter, male nurse, animal control agent, something of that kind, not a cop. Go on with your cop work. Don't let me stop you again. What the fuck is going on here? What is it? Yeah, she looks at you. Did you hear that? Did you hear me sing? Did you like it? That that was pretty good, Harry. She pokes her companion with an elbow. Wasn't it, Jean? Uh, that was... He stares at you. Yeah, that was absolute shit. If you want my opinion, drunken shit. Haven't wanted anything to end this badly since I had cluster headaches. Horrible. Truly horrible, he continues. I beg of you, don't ever subject anyone to this torture again. I mean, seriously, you need to. Jean, she quietly interjects, giving you a compassionate side glance. He's not right. Don't make it worse. And I really liked it. She actually did. Ah, oh, nice drama. But are we compromised? Whoa, what's going on with these lines overlapping each other? Look, something's really bugging me. Are we or are we not from the same police station? God damn it, you leave her alone. The man with sunglasses snaps to you. Keep your weird bullshit to yourself and be professional for once for fuck sake. Can I actually help you with something? She looks at you apologetically. Yes, of course, preposterous. I mean, you would remember if they were, right? Who forgets their squad mates? That's not possible. Okay, goodbye. Hi, Gendarmi. Another rendezvous. There he is again. The smoke around the balcony, right here in the whirling, whirling in rags. Oh, I'm sorry. Rendezvos. Another Rendezvos. Speaking of Rendezvos, Parker Starfish used some bits to say, but munchers, I approve. Thank you, Super Stickman22, for the 17 month resub. Does my sub count as double? Uh, no, just monocoin, sorry. Are you on the side of a Yaya? What's your end game, Super Stickman 22? I can't trust anyone today. Thank you, Zero Skill, for the five month resub. Thank you very much. You say, you're saying no. Damn. Damn. I don't know. Am I compromised? <sighs> thank you, Zero Skill, for the five month resub. Thank you very much. And thank you, I am 999 for the 100 bits. Can't be here for the stream. Have you thought about playing through Kentucky Route Zero since the last episode finally came out? Yeah, I don't know when, but I would like to play that. I hear it's amazing. So we'll probably do that at some point. Is that a lot of reading? Is that a reading game? Or is it got voice acting chat? I know I brought it up earlier, but I didn't see chat after I talked about it. Sorry. Which game? Kentucky, Kentucky Route Zero. Does that have voice acting? It's read and walk. Hi. I see you found yourself a little something from my wardrobe. He scans you. Not bad. Not bad at all. What brings you here? Thank you. It's my kimono. What are you doing here? Admiring the atmosphere, he smiles. What about you, officer? I live here. My room is right upstairs. <laughs> I'm here to kick some ass and solve the case I'm working on. I don't know what I'm doing here. I just go wherever life takes me. Hmm. Maybe you should figure it out, detective. Composure. Legendary. What is, what is it about the way he carries himself? Tell me again what that about that muscular type who came to investigate the crime. Oh yes, let's see. He knocked on my door a few days ago after the lynching. I think he was going through the entire building asking questions. What did you tell him? Nothing, that I didn't see anything and he believed you? Why shouldn't he? Did you tell him about your friend? He takes another drag of a cigarette before knitting his brows. What friend? Your Sunday friend, the witness. No, I don't think it came up. What did he look like? Muscular, handsome, he shrugs nonchalantly strong, like one of those military types. Was he alone? 
Yes, but he was speaking to someone you know, on his earpiece. His earpiece? I'm surprised they have earpieces. Yes, you know, those tiny speaker microphones that fancy security guards wear so sometimes wear. What was he saying? Just reporting back whatever I was telling him. But besides muscular, did he have any other identifying traits? Oh, let me think. He turns his eyes upward in recollection. He had an accent. He sounded like one of those mercenaries. He sounded vaguely Oranis. Oranis? He closes his eyes. No, not vaguely scratch that. He sounded definitely Oranis. Thanks for the information. I met your Sunday friend. You did? A small smile adorns his face. And how did you like him? You're right. He was magical. Ma magically bu bureaucratic. I didn't like him as much as I like you. <laughs> what? I didn't. He's a government official. I don't trust governments. Number one. I told you he can be very useful. I guess that's the charm of powerful people. Who is he? What are, what are, what are you two? What are you, you two? Who is he? A visitor from the first world. He's not like you and me. Gendarmi. <laughs> Gendarmi. Oh. <laughs> it's been a while since we did that. Gendarmi. A Gendarmi was a heavy caval cavalryman of noble birth, primarily serving in the French army of the, from the late medieval to the early modern periods of European history. Okay, how do we pronounce it? Gendarmi? Gendarmi? It's a branch of the police here in France today. Oh, okay. Gendarme? Gendarm? Shandarm? Gendarm? Gandalf? Gandalf. All right, Gandalf. A visitor from the first world. He's not like you and me, Gandalf. He smiles and his smile seems melancholic. He can always return. Return where? To his opportunities in Osseden, Sir Leclef, still, he breathes in and keeps his lungs filled for a moment before letting it out. He, his coming and going brings some life to the village. Or is it just money? I don't know. He stares at the bar. Who are you, you two? Friends, I told you. Sunday friends. Friends who like to get together from time to time. What does it mean, a Sunday friend? He sighs. That he won't be here. That he won't be there when times get tough, I guess. Is that even a friend? It is. On Sundays, he smiles. Why was he staying at your place in the middle of the night? He has keys, and he likes the view. He waves gently with his cigarette holding hand. To the sea, I mean. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't want to talk to... Uh, to I don't want to talk about other people. I want to talk about you. Hmm. He hums. What about me, Gandalf? Uh, about this robe I'm wearing. You can keep it. I don't mind. I can appreciate beauty when I see it. Thank you. I wasn't really planning on giving it back anyway. Thanks. It's like carrying a piece of you with me at all times. I took it to blend in. I'm undercover, you see? Um, all right. Number two. All right. Is it now? He starts laughing. Well, enjoy. I, I feel like with this guy, a lot of the choices are kind of like romantically loaded and... I don't understand. Bye bye, Gandalf. All right, so what? Do, shit, what did we not we want? Composure, right? Yeah, composure. Time to go through every single piece of uh, of equipment to see if there's anything with composure on it. Here we go. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Composure. All right. So we have composure already on one. All right. Because you made Harry gay. I don't think you can make someone gay. 17%. It's the sports. He's a sports guy and all about that physical prowess and athletic skill and nothing else here. All right. Bye bye, Gandalf. All right. Can we level up our composure? We can. All the way down here. All right. We can. Sure. All right. So let's level up. Let's see if we can get this. All right. One more try. If we don't get it, I'm, I'm giving up for now. 
Hear that? Magnesium. That's what you're lacking. The lack of magnesium has you slouched. So there's a lack of magnesium in me. Yes, and it's critical. Look at yourself. You're practically devolving into a fish due to a lack of magnesium in your bloodstream. I need to mag it up. You need to get so magged up. You've probably had two heart attacks and a minor stroke already, and the only prescription is insane amounts of magnesium. You're saying I need to become a magnesium-based life form. <laughs> Yes, if you want to live, you need to evolve. You need to ascend the carbon barrier. Go to the apothe apothecary and buy insane amounts of magnesium. It will reverse the damage to your circulatory system. Aren't we, like, trying not to become an addict right now through the wasteland of reality? Yeah. Could he be a member of the homosexual underground? <laughs> All right, where are we going, game? Just pointing it out. We're not talking about some kind of cult with members here. You made it up. <laughs> you made it up. <laughs> are you are you part of the homosexual underground? The homosexual underground. The smoker sits up immediately, his eyes wide with amused surprise. A honeyed smile lingers on his lips. Why, yes, I am, officer. Why, do you want to investigate? Yes, I want to hear more about this homosexual underground you're part of. Oh, it's a pleasure group, a sub-rosa pleasure group, congregating in cellars under the cover of night, Saturday night, sometimes even Friday night. What about Thursday night? Or Thursday night, sometimes the congregating doesn't even end. It carries on into our daily life. He lowers his voice conspiratorially and looks around. But why do you convene? What do you do? Oh, we're ambitious. We want to destroy the last vestiges of meaning, the last things people in Revachal had to hold on, on to, the true symbols of security, the meaning of ma man and woman, mother and father, their marriage. Everything will be constantly shifting and moving under our rule. The future will belong in a circus of identities, just spinning around, surreal and unreal. You won't even know who you are anymore. Being gay isn't just accepted, it's mandatory. But I like knowing who I am. Does it have anything to do with disco? Yes, we also listen to a lot of disco. Some say we engineered disco to spread our vision of a vertiginous? Verti vertiginous? Vertiginous? Vertinagist? Vertigigenous? Vertiginous. Verdi vertiginous. 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 Okay, so just literally just causing vertigo. Okay, no deeper meaning than that. Okay. Vertiginous. So <laughs> I can't say it again. Ever changing society where all there all there is is a razzle dazzle of gold. We are going to change the family unit with all this razzmatazz and finger dancing. He wiggles his hands, and. With mysteries, of course. The mysteries are also of sexual nature, very esoteric. I do like disco. Maybe I should get into it. No, this is not me. This That much fun should be illegal. I do like disco. Maybe I should get into it. You can't just get into it. You have to be born into it. One is either already in the homosexual movement or forever excluded from it. What if I can't remember whether I'm in or not? What if I can't remember anything about my life aside from the fact that I like disco? Beautiful. The smoker crawls up to you like an animal preparing to jump. Beautiful. That's exactly what we're looking for. Who knows? Maybe you were homosexual in the past. Maybe all of that has been repressed. He circles his hands around you. I have to say, you do look like someone who, who might be a part of the underground. You have that very distinctive, I can't understand what's going on here look. <laughs> okay, blink. Okay, I have to think about it. This is going to be like a 20 hour mind project for me. 20, 20 hours at least. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. A man like you can figure out a sexuality in a working day. It won't be 20 hours unless you want to enter the heightened realms of uh, phantasmi erotique afterwards. Then it may be 20 hours or more, but that would be on your own time. Leave. Bye-bye, Gandalf. Right, is that it? There's nothing else to talk to him about? Okay, cool. All right. Magnesium-based life form. It is generally understood that human beings are carbon-based organisms fusing little carbon tubes together to form complex, mushy structures capable of thought, love, and locomotion. It is also known that these structures sometimes like to take the edge off by consuming ethanol. 
amphetamine, etc. In such cases, it is important to supplement your body with magnesium. Tired, maggot, down, mag time, liver damage, maximum mag. Some people say magnesium doesn't really do anything and you just need to quit. What do we tell them? Not today. Shivers, no shakes. Homosexual underground. What the fuck? You see mysterious strangers in the night, leaning against unlit doorways, engaged in hushed conversation, a shadowy cabal exchanging looks, whispering in dark alleys and unmarked locales, a radical cell conspiring against the state, and perhaps even against man and woman. Was that a secret handshake? What's going on? Who are these secretive people? How will they accomplish their sinister and world-altering goals? And most importantly, are you one of them? You could be. Maybe you forgot. Are, are either of these good to get? I kind of want to get the apricot chewing gum scented thing because I want to see what this has to do with our, our ex-wife. I don't think this makes us gay. I think it makes us bi, right? Because that would break the, the ex-wife story, right? Mag gives two volition. Do we need volition? We can get our volition pretty high. What would we get rid of? Sh plus three shivers is pretty good. Wompty Dompty Dawn Center is amazing. One more door is minus one half life. All okay, th so we should probably just get rid of this because we had it to all to unlock the white checks and then we just get rid of it again, right? For something else. All right, so we get rid of one more door. Um, I want to get three. I want to get okay. I want to get homosexual underground and apricot chewing gum scented one. Do we want to get magnesium based life form? I don't think so. Okay, let's forget. Actual art degree, we're keeping for sure. Romance Kim. Hey, Wuggy, how's it going? That's really good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think that's good. Some kind of superstar. Learning cap, uh, that seems pretty good too. Shit. Inexplicable feminist agenda. Do we want to drop being being a feminist and instead become gay? Uh, that's something that's never been said before. I, I guess like we're losing one empathy and like this seems pretty bad, right? All right. Okay, we're dr we're no longer a feminist. Friendship with feminism is over. Homosexual underground is now my new best friend. All right, there we go. Probably on a list now. I've got nothing. Okay, so what can we say, say to this guy? The clowns are still hanging around. What is it now? Okay, so we can tell him that we know shit, th that they're being wrong. I, I kind of, I, I don't want to, though, but I'm, I'm worried that this is what you have to do to progress the main quest. Because do we have any other leads at the moment? I don't think we do. Yeah, I think we have to do it. The clowns are still hanging around. We'll talk about the hanging again. What is it again. now? Again, just, just the dead guy's autograph since you're his biggest fan. Just get the guy. Okay. Burst of laughter in the room. But go inside. How does the bullet in his head factor into this? Huh? A sip of beer makes the surprise go down easier. There was a bullet in the dead man's brain. The lieutenant checks his notes. Why was it there if you hanged him? How the fuck do I know? Anyone could have shot him. Target practice, maybe? Another sip. He's tight lips suddenly. Interesting, sire. It's as if he's lying to protect someone. He's not very good at it. This line of questioning is over. The woman steps in before you can answer. You got the cause of death already. Hanging. If there's any post-mortem trauma, it's your problem. This will not turn into a cross-examination. Um, why don't I just arrest you? We're not doing that. We died last time. No more questions. You still haven't explained the bullet. 
you saw another bullet. He passed it back with his head a bullet in the hangman, hangman's head. You're right, Copper. That is mighty curious. Indeed, mighty. How did it get there? Lieutenant is fixed on Titus. He gives you an indulgent look. Well, there are so many bullets in the world and so many heads. He sighs deeply. I guess it's only logical. At some point, one of them bullets had to end up in one of them heads. It's bound to happen again, you know. He taps on his right temple. Just statistically speaking, of course. Sire, it would be an event most dramatic if you were to produce the bullet and dangle it before the... <laughs> Why is this should be a check and if you fail it you try to do it and you just accidentally fling it across the room and then it's just gone forever i'm going to ask you again why this show them the bullet in the victim's head why was this wow the little man leans in to inspect the lead and blossom he he's got it in a real evidence bag and all why don't you go home and log it into evidence these men have told you what, what happened I think the hanging was a cover-up for the shooting. You know what I think? He raises his finger. I think he was shot in the head as a kid, and his brain grew around the bullet. Damn, that could be... That, damn, that, Kim, why didn't we think of that? Around the bullet, man. Elaine? Alan? Alan? Elaine? Pinches the root of his nose. That's a good one. All the goofing around is, of, is to avoid lying. It's a technique. They're only pretending to enjoy this. Beneath the act, they don't like you knowing this. Did you guys shoot him? Shit, he throws his head back. I probably did shoot him. I was drunk last night. You guys know me when I'm drunk. Yeah, Gunn likes to shoot his gun when he's drunk. The little guy looks you in the eye. Better hope he stays sober. No, he meant before he was hanged. Did you shoot him before you hanged him? Before, after, during? He, she spreads her arms. This is getting ridiculous. They told you what happened. Stop wasting your time. Don't worry. We will figure this out sooner or later. Never been worried in my life, lawman. He crosses his hairy arms, having forgotten his beer for a moment. <laughs> it's not like you blew it wide open, but there's a little crack in there somewhere. I found someone who saw the hanging. A witness. A witness? The tall man crosses his arms on his chest. You ain't got shit. The locals would never come to you with this. That's just cop tactics, Titus. Next he's going to tell you one of us already rolled on the others, as in, and is in witness protection. My witness isn't a local. Titus scratches the back of his head and asks, Well, let's hear it then. Who is your mystery fella? He's not alarmed by the sudden appearance of a witness, but he is surprised. I'm not I'm not telling you who the witness is. This goes without saying, but nonetheless, don't give out his name. Charles Vid Village Drone, a high-ranking government official from Rue de saint Gaslain, 33 B. <laughs> who he is is irrelevant. It's like you said, Al. He turns to, to the man on his left. Copper's coming up with, with this on the spot. There is no witness. I've seen this a million times, Titus. Fly fishing. They're desperate. He turns to you. Tell us, Copper, what, what wacky claims did he make? The witness said the hanging went down very quietly. No shouting, no commotion. The witness said he saw two people of Arrow Peggy descent and one Mesca. The witness said it all looked like a surreal play. Um, all these are true, right? Number one, it's you assholes that feel the need to go around like fucking brass band. Like a fucking brass band. The Hardy Boys are dead silent. Yeah, all thanks for confirming it. It's like they put cowbells on you before they send you to the streets, he says provokingly. What's with the cowbells, policeman? They're avoiding having to answer the question. I'd imagine you guys drinking and singing lynching songs. What's with the funeral silence? We were, we were drinking. He looks around. Weren't we, guys? I hit the bottle hard. I was drunk as fuck. Right, I'm convinced, Glenn. He nods sarcastically. Nothing off here. Just a regular hanging. Bullseye. Glenn looks around uncomfortably. Lieutenant hit a nerve. <sighs> Best boy. Best boy. Back at it again. Back, back at it again. Damn. We're Nagito to his Hajime. The witness said he saw two people of... Uh, yeah, that one. Aeropagite? He says... He starts laughing. Boss, I think he's trying to say me and Theo. Well, yeah, Titus nods. What is confusing What is, What is confusing you, Eugene? Theo and Elaine were there too. I already told you we were all there. The witness said it all looked like a surreal play. That means absolutely nothing to me. He takes a sip from, he says taking a sip from his can. I sound like some made up horse shit. It means the whole scene was long and drawn out like it was from a film. What's this fella's problem? The little guy addresses everyone and no one. Sorry, we didn't make it more action packed. It wasn't the first thing on our minds, you see. Shanky, it's Shanky, right? He doesn't wait for an answer. I thought there's something wrong about the lynching story. Now I know there was. You don't know shit. I know you're lying, Shanky, he writes in his notebook. Damn, you know you know that 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 the perps start dribbling when Kim starts scribbling. Great witness. He must be really parched because <laughs> <laughs> because he takes a giant gulp of fear there's so much so much bluster to hide the fact that they're uncomfortable with you having this info let's go over the rape victim again again seriously man he shakes his head fine fire away okay enough about that then classia says she wasn't raped 
Fuck, the big man's eyes and veins bulge. I knew that fucking whore couldn't be trusted. For the record, she steps in forcefully. Titus Hardy did not explicitly specify the victim as a whore, nor did he say anything about trusting her. Oh, shut up and stay out of this, Liz. He turns back to you. He raped her. He was out of his fucking mind. You have no idea. She's just in denial, asshole. You don't understand the traumatic experience. She's shutting down and she just, and she, she doesn't fucking trust you. There we go. Yeah, she's crazy. You know, the rat face man says carefully, a crazy bitch. You know the type. She's fucked up. This is a diversion. Stay on track. Crazy. What are you talking about? She was lucid. She was very lucid. I did think that. Yes. Yes that she's a little crazy cut the bullshit she told me the truth crazy we talking about she's very lucid she wasn't raped the lieutenant's voice is beginning to betray his agitation the witness's statements were very clear lawman he says through clenched teeth i'm at the end of my goddamn rope with you oh we're gonna get hanged i fucking told you not to push her and you went and pushed her something breaks in him he takes a step closer and says i'm going to fucking titus hardy her voice rings through the room like a warning shot Everard personally sent me to take care of this. If this goes south, we'll all be in shit. But you, Titus Hardy, are going to be buried. Am I understood? When she's angry, she emphasizes the S. It gives her voice a strangely hypnotic quality. Her, her lips barely move as she speaks. Frankly, it's a bit terrifying. Someone has to rush in to break the tension. The second in command. Look, Copper, the tattooed man snaps his fingers to get your attention. We know the dead fuck was a rapist and a killer. We got him confessing to it on tape. Show, show it to him, T. He turns to Titus, who's still breathing heavily. What's the harm, right? Here, jerkwad. He slams an audio tape on the table. Listen to this shit, and then come back and tell me the soldier of, of Apocalypse was an innocent man. This is their last play, this tape. Their story is in tatters, a mess. It might be nice to listen to you, but at this point, you don't need to. Why should I care about the tape? You lied to me. So what's on this tape? Where did you get this tape? Where can I listen to this? Why should I care about the tape? You lied to me. You don't care about evidence? His eye twitches? The fuck are you a cop for then? Pigs, T. They don't care about getting the truth. They care about getting convictions. They're fucking keeping score on their bulletin boards. I won't be on your bulletin board. If you don't listen to the tape, we've got nothing to talk about. There's a lot of questions. If you ask them now, they'll just keep bringing up the tape. Listen to it and they'll have nothing to hi hide behind. So what's on this tape? What's on it? We call it the, the Door Gunner Mega Mix. You'll know why once you listen to it. Now that is intriguing. You had me at you had me at door gunner. You really did. Where did you get this tape? You think we got into this shit deaf and dumb? You RCM aren't the only ones who know how to bug people. There's no university degree for that. Actually, there are a few. Crypto analyst, radio officer. Actually, there are numerous degrees you can get in signals intelligence. Yeah, like you have one. Smart ass. He looks to his left. There's a beer that there that he forgot. Beer. <laughs> So <laughs> you're, you've bugged them? How? We have machines. He nods. We're in logistics. How do you think a harbor works? It's advanced stuff. Understood. You've listened in on their communications. He takes he takes a little note. How long? Since way before their chief started taking swing lessons. Things got nice and quiet after that. Which one of you is doing this advanced radio work then? It's not advanced, the heavy man wheezes. You're just holed up in a coop all day, writing down what they say. It gets hot as hell in there. Don't put yourself down, Angus. It's important work. The chief picks up his beer back picks his beer back up to offer a silent toast yeah man you're like a radio genius or something those notes are some in-depth stuff indexes and shit where can i listen to this i'm sure we can find a tape player lieutenant whispers pull out whip out the boom box and listen to it right in front of them dude do door gunner time where can i listen to this he mocks you why don't you try showing up your ass genius yeah play it with your ass cocksucker his voice echoes like thunder in the small room I'm sure we can find a tape player. It's not a problem. He repeats calmly in a hushed voice. Your room had one, or maybe it's too broken. That's enough for now. I'll get back to the investigation. Don't forget your tape, lawman. He pushes the little tape forward toward you with his giant hand. Compliments of Titus Hardy. Fine, I'll listen to it. You do that, he says, adjusting his belt buckle. Oh, and keep it. Maybe you'll need a reminder of human ugliness one day. Someday. A few more thing, a, a few more things before about the tape before I go listen to it. Now we're good. I'm gonna listen to tape. Okay, we're done. All right, nice. All right, so I want to actually go to the room and see if we can use that tape player because I thought it was is broken. Maybe there's like a check to fix it. Uh, Pucker Starfish use sixty six. 66 bits. Roombo is a decent game for Q&A or a one shot. It's pretty funny. Roombo. Roombo. Roombo First Blood. 
Oh, is this like, like you, you clean up? You're like a Roomba? Huh. Okay. Uh, I'll try to keep it in mind, but honestly, I'm probably going to forget. Was that room always so, so messy? Wuggy Not has resubscribed for 23 months. Thank you very much, Wuggy. Happy birthday. And happy new year. Thank you, Wuggy. Uh, Setafrick has used a bit to say monthly cheer for Ayaya. Sorry, Joe. <sighs> How dare you? I, I can't believe you've done this. Thank you, Typhoo One, for the new sub. Welcome to the Rub It Up Sub Club, Typhoo. I'm not sure why you would uh, reward this with a new sub, considering the 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 clusterfuck that um, that is today's stream um, with the double monocoin cash in today. But thank you very much, Typhoo. Tell69 has used 500 bits. Hey, Joe, saw your Patreon post. And to be honest, I'm just a little bit of a rebel. Now back to the shadows. This week's VOD, The Messenger. Oh, The Messenger playthrough was pretty fun. I had a lot of fun with The Messenger. Uh, I even had a script for, for a video for that, I think. Did I even record it? I might have even recorded it. I can't remember. Uh, I'll finish that one day, I hope. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the bits, Tell69. Tell thank you very much. Uh, Top Lolly used some bits to say, when I was five years... Oh, my God. God. All right. So Top Lolly has taken it upon um, themselves to make me say, read out the Super Mario Odyssey script in a woo speak, like the title of today's stream, Disco Ooisium. You know, like like ooo, it's getting woes and woes. So here we go. I, I can't do this well though, so it's not going to be great. So here we go. Like he's going to give up after five, after five parts of the script. <sighs> when I was five years old, I played my first video game. It was Mario Bros on the NES, a game that's older than I am by Tohu months. Knowing nothing about video games, I took it to be a cartoon that I could magically control. That was enough to be enthralling. <sighs> when you start streaming, did you imagine you have to do this? Honestly, yes. I hope I hope that was worth it, Top Lolly. It gets woes and woes. Aspiring trophy husband has resubscribed for eight months. Hey Joe, I hope you feel better. I'm not feeling better at all right now, aspiring trophy husband. It's good to see your name though, because your name is hilarious to me. But yeah, I'm I'm not feeling better right now. Not at all. Thank you, Nozerald as well for 27 month resub. JPH waifu. We could have had three kids now, JPH waifu. <laughs> The rare nine times three meme. Thank you very much, Nozerald. Yesterday was Yusuke's birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, Yusuke. Happy birthday. Every day is Yusuke's birthday to me. Okay, so we can't do this with interfacing, and we can't stop the expression from happening. Remember we're cutting down on the ridiculous at the, at the start of the stream? Uh, yeah, the, the, today t I already knew today was going to be a wash about that because of the um, because of the double uh, Ayaya fund. A magnetic tape acquired from Titus Hardy. It supposedly record holds a recording of the Mercenary Task Force radio communications recorded via decryption station. Not a good omen. Requires a boombox to play. The porter reel is just what you needed. The reels attached to the apparatus with a satisfying click. The tape is rooted behind the magnetic reader. Play the tape. All right, then. You push commencer and the tape starts spinning. Violent static and machine sounds fill the air. This isn't Revishal, the man. The man's voice says, This is a fucking village. I can almost see the elephants. Another loud screech, some kind of machinery. The harbor. Kim takes out his notebook. That's the sound of a Kvalsan crane. More static. When this shit is done, I'm going to tear that place up. Soldier of the Apocalypse style. Kill shit. Dogs and chickens too. Going to rent a room. Cordy, a real nice one. This part is unintelligible. I don't give a shit. I'm fucking done. I'm done mentally. I'm... F I'll fucking do them all in. Rape that disco cunt on the counter. You know, the dancer whore upstairs. Do it. Do it. Kohoi style. 
Never did get that taste out of my mouth. A click, then silence. The rest of the tape is empty. The lieutenant presses the button marked Atrier on the, your porter reel. The tape stops spinning. What was that at the very end? Silence and a recording. What do you think? It seemed authentic enough, probably recorded off the shortwave, then edited to seem more incriminating. He sounded like he was on a patrol around the harbor walls. I agree. He, he also sounded inebriated. Still, the lieutenant looks at the tape. You are familiar with this look now. It's his look of suspicion. There's more going on here than we know. Who's this Cordy? One of the other mercenaries, I think. The one he was talking to. A friend of his? What's Kohoi? A village on the Samaran Isola in South Safri. Grad committed war crimes there, the kind of thing he talks about. You think he was there? Who knows? Maybe the tattoos would have an answer. Or maybe Kohoi is just merc talk for atrocity, slaughter. A symbol of, a symbol of soldier of ap apocalypse. Style conduit in a civil environment. Okay, then. What now? Remove the tape. I think we've got a few more questions for Clasha, don't you? He looks around. This seems to contradict her testimony, at least to some degree. As you take out the tape, the boombox tunes itself back to the cheery radio again, spewing out beats like it's Friday night. The contrast feels chilly, inappropriate even. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so, uh, we are halfway through the stream. And I think there's probably a fair amount of people that ask for a dad joke. And waifus. Okay, so let's go with the dad joke. All right, so, Froganox, Tim Foyle, Klokanoff, and Klokanoff again, holy crap have asked for dad joke. So one, two, three, four, which means eight pages. Eight pages in the dad joke book. I think we're running out of dad joke pages. <clears throat> Did you hear about the perfume thief? She was convict convicted of fragrancy. When does a bed grow longer? At night, because two feet are added to it. My recliner and I go way back. My wife asked me to stop singing Wonderwall to her. I said, maybe. All right, we did this one before. I remember that during Code Vein stream. That's okay. Repeated contact. Repeated content. Dad, how do I look? With your eyes. That was one page. Somebody stole all my lamps. I couldn't be more delighted. Why are there no knock-knock jokes about America? Because freedom rings. <laughs> I tell you a joke about beds, but it hasn't been made up yet. Who is the strongest thief? A shoplifter. Did you hear about the granny who plugged her electric blanket into the toaster by mistake? She spent the night popping out of bed. Wow. What, what kind of photo? That was two pages. What kind of photos do teeth like? Toothpicks. The shovel was a groundbreaking invention. My grandfather has the heart of a lion and a lifetime ban at the zoo. <laughs> how do you how do you make a band stand? Take away the chairs. My ex misses me, but her aim is improving. Why did the man throw the clock out the window? Because he heard time flies. If prisoners could take their could take their own mugshots, they'd be called selfies. Wow. Dad, you put your shoes on the wrong feet, but they're on they're the only feet I have. Is this pool safe for swimming? It deep ends. <sighs> for fuck's sake. When I was feeling down, my friend told me it could have been worse. You could have been stuck underground in a hole full of water. I know he meant I knew he meant well. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. Bells are really obedient objects. They sound off only when they're told. Stairs can't be trusted. They're always up to something. What's what's musical and handy in a supermarket? A shopping list. Oh my god. Yesterday at 8 o'clock, it was very time consuming, especially when I went back for seconds. I wanted to wear my camo pants today, but I couldn't find them. Dad, I'm cold. Go stand in a corner. It's 90 degrees. Alright. Last two pages. My grandmother puts wheels on her rocking chair. I guess she wanted to rock and roll. <laughs> 
what's what's Whitney Houston's favorite type of coordination? Hand eye. I tried to tell a joke about Julius Caesar, but it was all over the place. I guess you could say the joke was Roman. Where do mermaids go to see movies? The dive in. Did you hear about the musician who was arrested? She got herself into treble. I'll call you later. Don't call me later. Call me dad. Why does Peter Pan always fly? He never lands. Never cheat in a limbo contest. It's the lowest thing you can do. Why did the girl bring a ruler to bed? She wanted to see how long she slept. Yeah, that's that's the reason, sure. I don't have any red blood cells, so my doctors are looking in vain. I went to the zoo the other day. It was terrible. They only had one dog. It was a shih tzu. Mark is complete. Mark is complete. Mark is complete. Mark is complete. All right. All right, now we have Loner Archon, Ryuki Shi, 00, sorry, 07 Lover 69, V Red, and Bardiox. All right, so we're going to go in this in order. Bardiox, are you here? Bardiox, are you here? If you're here, give me your best girls. Or if you want to be um, faithful to your waifu, only one. You don't have to have two. All right, Bardiox, who's the lucky lady? Marianne from. F E three H and he Hiromi Yu Yuhara. All right. Marion from Fire Emblem Three Hooses and Hiromi Yuhara are best girls and are the Wi-Fi of Bardiox. Congratulations. Congratulations, Bardiox. I hope that was good. Uh, Loner Archon, are you here? Loner Archon, who are your best girl? <laughs> what have I become? I will make you hurt. First Lily name equals Joseph Anderson. What? What happens to the dad joke calendar? Did you do them say really? You want more dad jokes? You have become that which you shall have to describe. Say say your your best waifu is is Lily. Oh, you want me to say you want me to say that Lily Lily is best girl and the waifu Joseph Anderson is that is that what you want me to say? Sorry, I'm I'm confused. You're sacrificing your cash in so I get to say it for Lily. Correct. Ah, oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Lily is best girl. And to be, and is the, <laughs> and is the Wi-Fi of Joseph Anderson. <laughs> okay. Did you did you have do you have another one, Loner Archon, for your double? You wanted to do it separate separately. I wanted to say something wholesome. Kyujo Karen is the best waifu of a yaya. What? Okay. Kyujo Karen is best girl and is the waifu of a yaya. All right. I feel like I feel like I'm casting a spell again. All right. Today's weird, huh? All right. Ryukishi Ryu double. I said double seven again. Oh seven lover sixty nine. Are you here? V red V. Are you here? Rickyon, are you here? These are the three that we have. All right, type out your 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 best girls or girl. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Since I get two. All right. My... <laughs> I, Joseph Anderson, pledge to immediately enable a Yaya Chan is the best girl of Rikion. Sorry, is best girl and 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 waifu of Rikion. What? She's from an obscure Italian anime. You probably haven't seen it. And my husbando is then instantaneously disable it and increase the cost con. They're usually together. <laughs> All right, does that count? Oh. I, Ryush, Ryuki Kishi says, I wanted to be wholesome, but I have to wait for name changing. Regardless, I want to give a shout out to the best boy, best best author, Ryukushi07. He is the creator of the best visual novel series called When They Cry. Umineko is the is the second title. Yes, Disco Elysium is a well-written and interesting satire, but Umineko is, is the more complex and better story. Fight me, normies. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. R Ryukishi 07 is best boy and is the husbando of, of Lover69. There we go. <laughs> I don't know where we are right now, chat. I feel like we're in a bad place. V Red V, are you here? V Red V, you're the last one on the list. <laughs> I'm out to ocean right now. I don't know. I can't see the coast. I'm I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> That's Oko Saika from My Youth Romantic Comedy. And what? Okay. Is it important that I say what they're from? Is there is there one, more than one Tatsuka Saika? Uh, Tats, Tatsuka Saika from My Youth Romantic Comedy and Ast Astolo from Fate are our best girls and the, the wives foo of V Red V. There we go. There we go. I, I, I am you done. I am what is known as being you done. All right. So, so double dab from Neuromancer Dell. I have to do two dabs when Lily comes up, which should be soon. I think Lily usually brings me a drink around this time. Oh my God. All right. How many, how are we up to? We have 80, 80 Oyaya Monocoin fun 10 K versions. Wow. The special 2040, absolutely nothing reward, is so popular. Girl, oh, are they boys? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. T T Tatsuka Saika from My Real Youth Romantic Comedy and Astolof from Fate are best boys and are the husbandios of V Red Fee. All right, sorry. So I didn't. I don't. I don't know Animu. Google Astolof. No, I'm good. Astolfo. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, shit. Wrong one. Gaifu? <sighs> <sighs> Officer, what brings you up here in the rain? I like this music. Titus Hardy gave us a recording where the deceased states his intention to commit to commit rape. She puts her coffee cup down with a soft ring as the porcelain meets the metal table. This does not surprise her. Did he? A, smi a smile flits across her face. I never said he was a good man or that he had good intentions, only that he was never bad to me. She doesn't care. If anything, she sounds amused. On this tape, he specifically identifies you as the target. Hmm. Where did they get this recording exactly? It's intercepted radio chatter of the deceased recorded via the de-encryption de station. It's authentic enough. She arcs her brow. Does he say he's going to do it soldier of the apocalypse style? Those are the exact words he used. Yeah, that was practically his pickup line. She picks the cup back up. 
A memory surfaces in her tired neocortex. It's not entirely unpleasant. Did he say whores a lot? Was he pretty much on the verge of doing it kohoi style? Yes, the word whore was used. Kohoi was mentioned. He wasn't actually there. He didn't do a tour, or at least he didn't tell me. At least didn't tell me he did. Would have been overkill anyway. He lived, he lived his own little kohoi. It was in his everything. Why do you say things like that? Machismo, machismo. I think it's machismo because it's ma macho, right? Kinda. I'm not sure. Do you think he was trying to scare people? No, I'm pretty sure he did all those things and then had to internalize them to keep on living until they just sort of turned it into his she thinks what's the word i'm looking for persona she's quite uh, observant about the human character trained to observe even did you learn this from studying orney's lit sounds psychological oh persona was there shit people who go to university know how to use words like internalize and integrate officer now what was the expression she's still looking for it there's more to this she has an index in her head of pathologies and how to exploit them i can almost see her turn the pages you can, tr you can trust Pillar Bookhead, by the way. As far as I could tell, he's not singing to her tune. The only one besides me. <laughs> I love this so much. So much I love this. Persona! Running joke. I was going to say running joke. It sounds like you didn't even get the good bits. Lily's punchlines got way, way funkier than that. He was like the Seminese conflict, the Kohoi massacre, and the 38 famine in Yiza all rolled into one person, then cast in Orni's ceramic armor, which he wore in bed and in the shower. What? And you spent time with this person romantically. I think we have a chance. We're all scraping up any happiness we can find, officer, going around with our little scouring sticks. You, your first love, Mr. Kohoi here. Did he tell you he had actually done any of those things here in Martinez, I mean? No, we were too busy laying waste waste our own nervous systems to direct any of the fury outward he seemed she thinks he seemed happy i guess at ease as much as a man like him could be what kind of man was he before you go ask for details she seems okay to talk about it thank you for clearing that up miss he turns to you whenever you're ready i'm interested to hear what what titus hardy has to say now she takes a very small sip of her coffee and smiles then you've had some time can you tell me tell us more about the victim like for example his name actually officer i didn't know his name i just called him lelly lelly a nickname? I guess. He came from Lelystad. It's short for that. And it was his army name, apparently. He said his real name wasn't his. I tried to pry it out, pry it out of him, but it was of news. I think it was a missed opportunity to have one of your, um, one of your parts of your, like, skills to be how to pronounce things, and it shows up, like, pronounce blah 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 instead of it being in the low, low things. That might have been interesting. Maybe Encyclopedia could have done that. Lelystad, that's a good start. The lieutenant writes it down in his notebook and then tears out a page and hands it to you. We have a few questions you can help you can help us with. A few things an aut a field autopsy, a field autopsy can't, alone can't answer. The young woman cranes her neck trying to catch a glimpse onto the page the lieutenant passed to you. On it is a list of autopsy observations recorded neatly in blue ink. The, le the last missing pieces of a puzzle of flesh. Where is Lestad? The place I mean. How old was he missed? His eye color. Okay, I think we can probably safely go through these one by one. Where is Lestad? The place I mean. An Aranya Oran officer. I think it's a, I think municipality is the term. A nowhere town there. The Lelystad municip municipality has few boroughs and even fewer cities. It's made of agricultural holy shit, plots near the border of Gotwald. Executive summary, cows, silos, and wheat. You were almost right, officer. The lieutenant shakes his head like you just missed a shot in darts. That means his race was occidental, not mondial. I'll update the form. Look at Classia. You were both from Aranya? Ar yes, we were compatriots. Did that bring you together? No, he was too old for that. And from another part of Aranya... I didn't even understand his accent. What brought us together wasn't Aranya, it was bad habits. Sex, alcohol. No love for Mother Aranya. But wasn't he a soldier? This could be worth pursuing. A military man, but not a patriot? No, he left the National Service after they taught him to do what he did on Seminine. He wasn't the flag-waving kind. He was the making-money-killing-people kind. 
He was by no means a stupid man. She takes a long drag of his cigarette, then washes it down with coffee. A people person, a small platoon leader, certainly not a patriot. You don't seem like much of a patriot yourself. As an or Orinese yourself, didn't this, his lack of patriot annoy you, number one? Mm-hmm, she hums. There's nothing on Monday. The old, old world is dead, and we both knew it. Maybe Aranye did bring us together in loathing. I love Ravishal, though. She looks around, the wind in her hair. I hope she loves I hope she loves me, too. How old was he, miss? He was 42. 42? Are you sure? I would have had him above 50. He had many scars that make him appear older, but no. The memory makes her smile. We even celebrated his birthday, like some two weeks ago. It was a funny two days. He had a little. Re he had little reason to lie to me. Looks like you were right, officer. Lieutenant taps on his notebook once, as though assigning some kind of point. Points are good. Have one, you old dog, before we all die. <laughs> I did not know this was a competition, Kim. It isn't. Police work is a cooperative sport. Oh man, I like cooperating with you, Kim. His eye color? Blue, light blue. They were like, she stops, her eyes half closed and continues, like little blue galaxies, you know? It was strange seeing those eyes in his fucked up face. Pardon the swearing, she takes a drag. I do him an injustice. He wasn't ugly, and he had a beautiful soft voice. Very surprising with what all the, with what with all the scarring. It was quite something watching him speak. He had a combat wound on his chin and mouth. Yes, severe. She seems to enjoy the word. It made him look like half his face was cracking away in some strange smile. That and those eyes. Oh yes, Lieutenant suddenly remembers his hair, if you can remember. It was light brown, almost blonde. He darkened it with brill... brilliantine? 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 Yeah, made it oily. Not nice to stroke. I couldn't convince him to leave it alone. He had a tattoo. What did it mean? Oh, she smiles. That. It was a map of his service history. Sure, service history. It was mostly for showing off the chicks, though. For showing off the chicks? How so? How? She leans back. Imagine him lying in bed, freakish muscu muscula musculature laid out on the sheets. Scarred, of course, tattooed. The sheets are dirty for some reason. Damn, it's Geralt. Is this Orny's lit? Is this Orny's lit? Yes, this is the very essence of Orny's lit. A moment's respite. Dark and hopeless as the struggle itself, she leans even further back to demonstrate. He's smoking and drinking, of course, and his chest and shoulders and arms are studded with stars, tens, hundreds of them, maybe even thousands. And the woman goes like, she points at the air with her sharp nailed finger picking out an imaginary tattoo star. What was this, baby? And he says, she lowers her voice comically, that was too hardcore, don't ask me about that. So she goes, okay, but what's this, baby? And he's like, saw some bad shit there, killed some loincloths. And so it goes, star after star, port after port, third world country after third world country, and he's done horrible things in every single one of them. You were the woman in this? Oh yeah, she nods. Can you tell us precisely what these mean? Hand her the photo. No thank you, she does not take it. I've seen enough of him dead. I can tell you what they meant without looking at them. She pours herself some more coffee. Go on. <clears throat> she has like an unlimited amount of coffee. He was a blue-eyed boy with thick arms from a small town. He was also poor, and the government of Oran Oranye needed some people killed, so they turned him into a grotesque killer for money. He went to Killer Academy in Vertifort. Then he killed some people on the Seminine Islands, and on other islands too, all of the islands. After this, he came to Ravishal and got himself killed. Not a very fun story. It is when you're high. It can be very exciting. Then you have the tools. Then <clears throat> you have the tools to deal with it. It's not a very nice story to remember when you're sober. She smiles faintly. A change of topic. Could it be love that did him in? It very well could be. Yes. What do you mean? What do I? What do I mean? She raises an eyebrow. I have no idea. I don't even know what you mean. The love did him in. What does that mean? He told me love did him in. That's not funny, officer. Her voice is like a slash of the air. Her shoulders tense up. There, she momentarily lost control over straight back guy. It appears she feels guilty. What? Do you feel guilty? Of course I do. I'm hungover. I feel guilty about everything. Do you feel guilty about what happened to him? Among many other things, yes, I could have done something. There's always something you can do, right? She looks into her coffee. Ask me something else. What is this, an interrogation? You didn't tell her this was going to be an interrogation. We ordered a toxicology report. Any idea what, will, what that will show us? A real rainbow splattering of pharmaceuticals, I bet. She grins. Barbiturates, amphetamine, sildenafil. How much does that toxicology report cost the police of Revachal? I can do it for half of that. Save you some money and make some myself. It's quite expensive, miss, but we'll manage without your help for without your help for now. I think we're finished with the sign of questioning. Hand Lieutenant back his notes. Alright. Lieutenant puts the slip back in his notes and observes the young woman for a moment. Coolly, gracefully, she pours herself more coffee. Let's turn this later, miss. 
Wait, stop. That man below to be on all recognition and was 42? It's what she said. Yes. Below the damage, the weeks of decomposition, all the swollen indignity of morality. He was 42 years old. Where is this going? How old are you? That's where this is going. 45.000 liters of raw alcohol has, has left its dif disfigurements. What lies beneath, you wonder. Kim, how old do you think I am? Turn around. Miss, how old do you think I am? Huh? She leans in closer. How old do I think you are? She's buying time to formulate the best answer. Look who's finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love it so much. I don't know. 1 million years old, 21, 17. How old are superstar police officers usually? I think I'm circa 55, 45, 35, 45. You're not. He's squinting at you. Sure he is. You know, age is just a number. Yes, but for him, that number... But for him, that number higher than 45 missing it is. Wait, this requires scientific measurements. Bring it out. Bring it on. I am not afraid of the truth. Thought gained. Date of birth generator to the laboratorium. Your face looks like it's 58 and your body feels like it's 60. Your mind feels like it's lived for one day or a hundred, both longer than they ought to be by the day and the century. But for how long then has this thing attached to your sent to sentience walked the, the planet's crust? Time to start racking those brains of yours, Elder One. When and where were you born? All right, this seems important to, to figure out. What are we getting rid of rid of it for? Nothing. Rigorous self critique. Jean Million. Psy learning caps. See if one of these isn't really worth it, and get rid of it afterwards. Okay, all Siler and Caps raised by one. All right. Um, I mean, we're not using them yet. Oh no. Oh no. What? Oh no, you're here. Oh, I'm sorry. What a greeting. Oh no. Oh no. So today is double reward day. Oh no. Yep. Just start drinking or something before I come up here. So, Neuromancer Dell, are you here? We have to do it twice. You do it both on the same side, or do you like do one and then another one? Like you're doing aerobics. Well, now I have to do it that way. I'm going to hit the microphone. <laughs> Neuromancer Dell is here. All right. All right. So, this is the shittiest reward, but here we go. All right. <clears throat> I just dabbed. He dabbed. All right, here we go. Mm, he did it again. I just dabbed the other way. Want to go have sex? Totally. All right, double dab. Hope that was worth it, Neuromancer Dell. Are there any more dabs to, to coming in today? Because that's like Lily's not going to be here for the rest of the day. And I'm not, I'm not calling her up just to dab. So if you, if you have a dab ref uh, cash in, now's the time. Dab for free? I do not dab for free. Yeah, believe it or not, there's a standard here. A gentleman doth not dabbeth for free. Does he not know what a dab is? Why does he clap? That's me building up the momentum to actually do the dab. The clap is separate. Oh, so Murder Miner cashed in two dad joke things. Hold on a second. Fantasy still okay? Just a minute, Leo. We're trying something new. Baby Kate is out on the pad. Wow. If Finn is watching her. Okay. Can you read four pages of the dad joke book? Oh, well. Or as many as you can before you have to go. 
a friend of mine fell into an upholstery machine, but it's okay. He has recovered. Why did the child punch the bed? Her mother told her to hit the hay. I tried to go to a trampoline park today, but they told me to bounce. Which bird steals soap from the bath? Robber ducks. I told my doctor that I always get heartburn when I eat birthday cake. He said that I should take the candles off first. Dad, did you get a haircut? No, I got them all cut. Classic. When I realized I ran out of clean pants today, I felt really depleted. I'd like a new boomerang, but I can't seem to be able to throw the old one away. Okay, boomer. Why are Saturday and Sunday so strong? Because the rest of the days are weekdays. I'm having trouble organizing a hide and seek league. Good players are hard to find. What is the range of a tuba? 20 yards if you've got a good arm. Dad, are you all right? No, I'm half left and half right. There's a new type of broom out. It's sweeping the nation. <laughs> Why can't gladiators cry? Because they're never sad. I think I have bad posture, but it's just a hunch. And one more page. Today at school, a classmate accidentally hit me with the door as he exited a classroom. Instead of saying sorry, he's not Canadian, he just looked at me, looked, looked me over and said, you're pretty cute and walked away. At first I was really offended that he didn't apologize for hurting me, but then I realized I was literally hit on. I guess you could say that he adored me. Wow. My wife gets mad at me for hiding kitchen utensils, but that's a whisk I'm willing to take. How can you shorten a bed? Don't sleep long in it. Most chairs are satin. All right. It's a really bad place to stop, but yeah. There we no go. Rhythm, but... There we go. It's fine. <sighs> okay. My work here is done. All right. Good luck. Thank you for, for helping. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Chucker. Don't be dabbing without me. I, will, I would never. Chucker, are you here? Chucker, come forth and giveth your besteth girlseth. Himiko and Vladimir Nobokov. All right. <sighs> Himiko and Vladimir Nobokov are best girl slash boy and are the waifu husbando weird polymorous relationship waifu of Chucker. Congratulations, Chucker. I hope you're happy with Himiko and Vladimir Nobokov. I, I drink to your health of all of you. Oh my god. Reese Fuller has used 300 bits to say, fuck top lolly. <laughs> Jake has subscribed for the first time of Prime. I don't know why we're getting new subs for this train wreck stream. Thank, thank, thank you, Jake, or J G G. Thank you very much. Welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to welcome to the waste of money. I don't know what's going on. Thank you, Parker Starfish for 58 bits. Have you considered that nursing homes are going to be pumping dubstep on the loudspeaker? Yeah, it's gonna be pretty funny. Oh shit. Ralph Dogs used 100 bits to, to make me read out the opening of my own book in Uu Speak, which I really don't want to do. But here we go. The dragon attacked 16 years ago. It was wait afternoon on on a warm summer's day and I had climbed the wall that surrounded our village. I was only 10 years old and boys weren't allowed on the wall. I can't even read my own writing of this shit, but I had a good hiding spot on the east side. There was a small gap in the stone, but... <laughs> below the walkway on the wall that I could crawl into and hide. It was barely big enough for me to fit into. All right, there we go. <sighs> I think we're gonna have to ban this. 
I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this has to be banned, or it has to be like a really high mono coin thing instead of bits. What is Uu Speak even called? It's, it's gotta be like, it's gotta have a proper name. It just can't be Uu Speak. It woo ish. Red Zath has resubscribed for 13 months. Best part of this stream is that we get to watch this beautiful Yusuke artwork the whole stream. I know, exactly. That, that unironically is the best part of the whole stream. It, it's that, then the game, then whatever the fuck I'm doing. Thank you, Kyriel, for the for one, sorry, Kyriel145 for the 25 month resub with JPH Lily. Shout out to Lily. Thank you, Kyriel145. Cats are the greatest. Want some more mono coins. I really, I rulery used 100 bits. To say, long time no see, Jojo. Happy rat year from across the sea. Was not able to catch your streams through the times of differences, and I'm so happy to be back. It's nice to see you again, I really. How you doing? You were around a lot during the Death Stranding streams, I remember. Hope you're doing well. Pucker Starfish shoes 100 bits. Fuck it. These are my self-imposed rules anyway. Can't wait for you to, to meet. Lime... Le Lemel? Lemel? La Luigi in Star Ocean when you definitely play <laughs> the old Star Ocean meme. Uh, thank you, Reese Polar, for the 100 bits with Rip Cheer. Yep, Rip. F. Oh, God. This is such a disaster. This is such a disaster. Degenuacy. Yep. Degenuacy. The way I say it, though, it sounds like it sounds like an anime girl is is like a detective in one of those n noir films. The the Dwayne came came into my office. She had looks that could quill. That's how it sounds like I don't do it right. <laughs> it was a wainy right. Oh for fuck's sake. Um Parker stuff is using more bits. At least Joe doesn't have to worry about more kids. Dabs are the best contraceptive. This is true. This is true. Just slip on a dab. Uh, Parker Starfish uses 100 bits. How much do I have to pay you to read the entire book for Audible in you? We speak a million dollars. Thank you, Kodama the Zelk, for the new sub with Prime. Thank you, thank you very much, Kodama the Zelk. Thank you for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to the to the Pup Patrol. I don't know why you're new subbing for this shit. Um, it's a million dollars because that's probably the, as much as I would need to completely get a nude identity and run away and 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 never have to show my face again after it. <sighs> All right, what are we dropping for this? Should we drop Guillaume Le Million? I kind of feel like we should. Pain threshold. D doesn't that get rid of our um, our extra life though? Hmm. I guess we could just get another one, right? Can we get another one with? No, pain insurance is right here. Let's just see if one of these is bad. Maybe the apricot chewing gum scented one is pretty bad, and we can just replace replace it with that. All right. So let's go talk to Titus. What about lo Lonesome Long Way? Let me see. I can't remember what that one does. That raises our um, our perception to five, and I kind of like perception. Perception is pretty good. Like We actually did cap that out. Lita is a 1955 novel written by Russian American novelist Vlad Vladimir Nabokov. Yeah, we have it. I haven't read it yet. Uh, or have I? Have I read it? Fuck. Did I forget reading Lolita? Yeah, we have. We have it somewhere. Uh, it's it's in, it's in a, a lock safe just in case the cops come around. The novel is notable for its controversial subject, the protagonist, an unreliable narrator, a middle-aged li literature professor under the pseudonym Humbert Humbert, is obsessed with a 12-year-old girl Dolores Hayes, with whom he becomes sexually involved after he becomes. Uh, her stepfather. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I know all about Lolita. Don't worry. That's why they're called all these. I think so, but I'm not sure. That sounds like it makes sense, right? That definitely sounds like it, but I'm actually not sure if that's why they're called lollies. The clowns are still hanging around. 
What is it now? So I talked to Clashia about the, the tape. And? He tenses immediately, chest tightens, jaw sets, ready for another blow. And nothing. She stands by what she said. That fucking fucker. He stares at his, at his beer for two seconds intently, then turns to you. You're the worst cops in all in, in worst cops in Revishal. I gave you gold on that on the tape. That fucker wasn't aimed at you, it was at her. Gold, it was just locker room talk. It's not evidence, damn. Damn, wow. It's, it was dark. I don't even want to say it. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. The stream's already a disaster enough. Let's not let's not bring it up. It was dark stuff, but it didn't prove anything and it didn't change her mind. Dark? Dark is when you start a goddamn death rock band. He said he'd rape her. He shakes his head in disbelief. What she have to say then? Fine by her? This is this is what people are supposed to be like? Fucking whoop de doo She did not say whoop de doo <laughs> I can confirm <laughs> I see what you're doing there. Let's push him. She didn't. Well, whoop de doo then. He's too angry to drink his beer. He just stares at it. It did not come as a surprise to her, and she definitely wasn't scared. Yes, in fact, the lieutenant looks at you and then him. I thought, I think she thought it was a little funny. Funny? Titus mumbles, his lips barely moving. No good goddamn psycho whore. Seems like they wanted to give Classia a second chance to play along. She still didn't. All right, he slams his giant fist on the doorframe. All fucking righty then. I guess it's good then. That fucking... Please try to control yourself in the presence of visitors, Titus. Her voice is a bit softer than earlier. Titus rubs his chin with his palm as if trying to grind it smooth. This is just perfect. Just fucking perfect. Any thoughts on this, Lawman? You don't have to say everything out loud. Just mix and match. I think you had a lie plan, but she didn't play along. Maybe she isn't who you thought she was. Maybe she's still in denial, you know, like a like a defense mechanism. Be straight with me, Titus. What really happened? Um, maybe she isn't who she who you thought she was. Nah, I know her. He looks upstairs distracted. She's just a girl in over her head. Titus, she has she has my whole skill set compromised. She's some kind of. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> what kind of pro? You're saying she's a hooker? He forces himself to pick up the beer and take a gulp. No, he's not saying that. Forget about it. Forget about it. I think you had a lie plan, but she didn't play along. I asked you for your opinion, not a bedtime story. Tell it to your grandma. This tape was the last chance for her to do what was planned. But she didn't. She knows she can't lie to us, unlike you. Oh no, he's definitely compromised too. It's his hubris. Sadly, not much to do about it now. I love that one check has led to all this optional shit. Fuck, the game is dense as fuck, man. Fantastic. So now you remember how to do your job. He despondently glances at his beer. I'm so sick of this piss. We should get something harder in here. Yeah, guys, we should get a party going tonight. Why? Uh, he looks at the old man in the corner. Maybe not then. Success. They admitted to unlawful collaboration to, de to derail the investigation. He straight me, Titus. What really happened? Already told you. He puts his giant face in his hands and sighs. We fucking hanged him. There's less gusto in his voice now. His men are, t are his men too are growing increasingly silent. They're confused. This is growing over their heads. Come on, Titus. We know you didn't hang him. He was shot. He taps on his notebook. I know you're tired, so am I. Why don't you just... What if we didn't know about that? You know what? He gets closer. I am tired. Tired of you and the whore upstairs. Next time you see her, tell Titus said, said fuck off. He throws his beer can down. That lying scamming. We're done. This is over. You understand? Your little investigation is over. Yeah, there's silence. There's a silence in the room. Elaine starts saying something, but then thinks best not to. On the floor, beer drips out of the can into a small puddle. No one does anything about it. What is this quiet funeral shit? What we need is some beers in us. He looks around. Bartender, 20 beers for the dock workers union. Why don't we make it 40, huh? The man shouts from behind the counter. Why don't we make it 100 beers? You're not loud enough. A hundred beers. Now we're talking. Glenn livens up. Hoppity hop over here, cafeteria manager. The window might be closing. The more beers they get in them, the less cooperative they will be. Rhetoric. Convince Titus he's being manipulated. All right, mention serial play, strange reaction to bullet, Everett asked to cooperate, push Titus on it. All right, chat. If we fail, this is the deal. If we succeed a 3% chance, I take a million coins off of the off of Yaya. And it's double monocoin day. If we, if we fail this... Same thing. If we succeed a 3% chance, if we fail a 97% chance, hey, you people saying, hey, oh, it's 97% chance. We've already failed a 97% chance before. It's happened. It's happened.
Not today, weebs. Not today. Convince Titus he's being manipulated? You should know by now, Titus Hardy will never falter. But you know someone who might. One of his boys will. That's it then. Case closed. Look around. We're going home, Kim. Fat Angus, the powerful guy, Mr. All Muscle. The time has come. Put him in the pressure cooker. Just remember, it's about more than Classia. It's about these men and Martinez, their, their district, their responsibility. <clears throat> Outside, under the rising sun, tattered and in ruins, the windows of the cafeteria glow with, their, with her morning light. That's it then. Case closed. Look around. We're going home, Kim. Huh? Lieutenant raises his brow. He'll get it. Go on. Write it down, Kim. And Martinez, they just kill you because they don't like you. Got it. He takes out his notebook. Kill you because they don't like you. All because because of some chick. Because you're a foreigner. Because you work for the wrong people. Because they like killing. I don't fucking know. Some chick. A wince. It's involuntary. Bring that up one more time and you won't get to write that report. Yes, I understand, Elaine. That's your name, right? Elaine, you'll kill us. He scratches in his notebook. That's what they do in the Wild North. They just hang you, like in the Dark Ages, make a display of your corpse. They just hang you, shoot you, whatever. They can't even remember. They just hang you, shoot you, light you on fire. They don't care. It wasn't It wasn't that. It wasn't the fat man says with the wheeze. We didn't shoot him. That's it. That's the weak one. You flushed him out. Now go in for the... Officer, you will be next if you don't shut up. The old man reaches for his belt, but his voice is strangely calm. He's on to you. He knows what you're trying to do. Steal yourself. Push on. Just ignore Theo. Turn to Angus. Or what? You're going to kill me like you killed him for no fucking reason? What happens if I keep talking? You're going to kill me too in this bar for nothing? Look at Kim first. Lieutenant has put down, put down his notebook. His hand is resting on his holster. He gives you an imperceptible nod. What? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, <laughs> Oh, Was that a failure? Or is this like, okay, yeah, turn Angus, yeah, push him. We didn't kill him. We didn't even hang him. He was dead when he takes a, breathe, a breath wheezing. Shut up, Angus. He was dead before you hanged him. Fatty the little guy hits Angus on the back of the head, a loud slap. Say one more thing to the cops and all. Dennis, Titus roars. Stand down or I'll beat your head in. Theo, he points to the old man. Take your hand off the belt. This isn't 31. I've got this under control. Does he? His closed fist is shaking. It's you who's in control. Let them have their moment. The room falls quiet. So quiet you can hear Angus wheeze. Angie, where's your goddamn inhaler? You sound like you're dying. I left it at home. I can't get it. I'm too fucked. He grabs his chest. I'm sorry. Why are you so fucking fat, Angus? Lizzie snaps at him. Now it's all pointless because of you. You wasted my time. I told you, Titus. He turns to him. I told you, I told you just give her up. Lizzie, he turns to the fixer. Your help is no longer needed here. Go tell Everett. Fine, I'll tell him. After a long walk along the coast, she walks off without looking back. Damn. Damn, what does that mean? You're in. He's all yours. Questions. Question time. Whisper, Kim, we did <laughs> I'm sorry I made you guys fight Whisper and we did it so you didn't kill him, he was already dead. If Clash you didn't kill him, why the cover up? So who I wanna do it. I wanna do it. Kit, we did it. Lieutenant gives a smile. Only you can see. <laughs> if Clash you didn't kill him, why the cover up? So his idea wasn't hanging him, hers? In a manner of speaking, what do you mean? We had help from another girl. It was her idea to hang him, and I liked it. For political reasons, it sent a good message. It's her, isn't it? The other, the, the missing eighth hardy, that's the other girl. The big guy turns to Glenn, who's about to say something. The blonde shuts his mouth before a word escapes. I'll say it again, Titus turns to you. All the hardy boys are right here, cop. That woman is just affiliated with the hardy boys. You don't know her anyway. You know, it's okay for there to be a hardy girl, Titus. His face sets like concrete he shakes his head solemnly we're the hardy boys and that's it sure but can you tell me anything about this affiliate name current location nope he says you're not getting to her it's class here you want to talk to i'm sorry i made you guys fight me too so you didn't kill so you didn't kill him he was already dead he nods you hang the corpse to cover up the real cause of death the bullet in his head another nod why because the girls asked us to they were in some shit girls plural there's another girl two of them take note of this they'll probably say more about her later did she kill him? Cop, I have no idea. The girl says she didn't. He doesn't think she did, or at least he hopes she didn't. What happened Sunday night? Classic came down. He points to the stairs. She seemed really out of it, drugged up, even more than usual, bug-eyed and gurning, you know? Not in a fun way. It looked like she'd redosed after something went down. I've seen that look before. She was scared. I knew someone had died. How did you know? 
I've done this job for 10 years, I've seen it before. It's the politician in the motel room with the dead hooker scenario, only in reverse. Good analogy, boss. The rat face man snickers. You don't get to talk yet, Shanky. He points at him. You're still on the bench, and you keep taking it easy too, Angus. He turns back to you. What happened then? We went upstairs, sure as day, the merc was dead, and there was a bullet hole through the window. Fucking, he scratches his chin, dirty sheets and, and bottles everywhere. So she fired the bullet through the window into him. Because if the, a bullet went, unless she missed once and there's a bullet that f went flying out somewhere. Hmm. He means they've been fucking. Tibbs patched the window and the corpse we hanged. Who's Tibbs, the eighth hardy? Nah, he's my brother. He's in the, he's in the window replacement business. He can come replace our window then. Tibbs, that's short, short, for, short for Tiberius? Yeah, he nods. Good man. That their father's named Atticus Hardy. Lucrita Hardy would be their sister anyway. If Classy didn't kill him, why the cover up? You may have noticed our girl's in some shit of her own. Yeah, I told you she's not what she seems. She said special training for some for something shady. Oh, you meant that kind of training, like a spy? He scratches his chin, maybe. The kind of people the kind of people who are after her, I guess she'd have to be. Maybe she's here to break down the union or something. These people, who are they? They're powerful. He looks out the window, connected to the moral intern. She's clearly afraid for her life. It's as if she showed up in your system, she'd be ghosted away. That's all he knows. That's all she's told him. And why would you help someone like that by taking on a murder? Why Why would I? He shrugs. I guess we all abide all sorts of runaway, runaways and losers here. It's a Martinez thing. So who killed the merc then? Any leads? Not yet. Just some ideas. She says the shot came from outside, behind the window somewhere. So that's a clue. What? Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking someone's past someone's past caught up with them. Either hers or his. Hers, you mean? I mean, the people after Clasha. Maybe the shot missed. Maybe it, it was meant for her. I like that. The young guy nods. Been thinking the same thing myself. And you had ideas about his past too? I do. One of those mercenary buddies of his could have done it. They've got guns, training, years of bad blood probably. Or it could have been someone else from, from Krennel. He pauses to think. Tell you what I'd do. Check out the coast for vantage points. Maybe consult with a ballistics buddy of mine. That's what I'd do. If I wasn't too busy doing this clown dance with you. He's calm now. Threw all that turmoil away and became himself again. These theories, not bad. These theories... Killing caught morale. Don't buy either one, but still. This guy's not as dumb as he looks. Thank you for this, Titus. I'll go talk to her for the last time. You do that. He grabs his beer and swirls it in his hand, then thinks of something. Hey, cop, before you go. Suddenly the wind picks up outside. You hear it rattling the large windows in their frames. It carries newspapers, circles the whirling and rags in a warm column. She, he looks up, Clasha came to Martinez to hide, many of us did. This is where you wash up when there's no one, nowhere left to go. The union takes you in, but now she refused that... Now she refused that protection, but but you would still prefer it prefer if we didn't take her away. That's right. If we didn't take care of the people who end up here, this place would just be a couple of ruins and some cargo containers. We'll take that into account. The lieutenant slides his notebook into his coat pocket. He turns to leave. Oh man, things just got just got really picked up. Let's go beat up Kuno's dad. Thank you, Vil, for the 500 bits. This is for the 1 million crowd... <laughs> Thank you, Vil, or some say Vile. Uh, fucking hell. Pucker Starfish is on bits to say, here's the uwu. Uh, can you link it in chat again? Because I can't see it on, on the other... Um, on the, the the other screen. Check your old tasks with sense of shit. Yeah, I know. I know there's just tons of shit we need to do. Yeah. We still have to call about the library card. Um, yeah, there's, there's tons of shit. Wow. 
What? Why is why is this an imager link to another link? Oh no, where is this gonna take me? I'm so scared. me how Joseph Anderson read his book in Uru speak you can set up stupid bullshit meme meme fucking things for a meme really do not donate to this it's a joke please your money will disappear I don't want to deal with the refunds this is a private stream joke Th that's allowed what the fuck <laughs> oh shit Average Joseph Anderson stream experience. I will not enable Yaya to keep you safe and sane. Exactly. We gotta protect the normies. The normies. I'm thinking of adding a new a new monocoin reward. Um, it's gonna be, I think a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand monocoins. It's a new reward, and it's Weeb Absolution. For a hundred monocoin, a hundred k monocoins, you can renounce your status as a weeb and consider yourself a non-weeb again no matter how much you hard you've weebed in the past i will officiate it who gave you that authority myself myself Can we get a monocoin for what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Alright, so where are we going for, for this guy? For the for the dad? Is it here? Alright, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm guessing it's gonna be some physical thing, right? We have so low physical instrument and everything. Just go in and start blasting. All right, we'll just go in as Yusuke. Let's see what happens. Door apartment 12, a shabby door hangs on its hinges secured to the door frame with a safety chain. An unpaid, an unpaid energy bill is attached starting to cut off the electricity. It's addressed to Mr. Uno Deruder. Looks like we found where Kuno's dad lives. Point to the bill on the door. Lieutenant nods and the place comes with three months worth of utility bills. Knock lightly. No response. The apartment numbers have fallen off the door, leaving the panel with a sticky one-shaped shadow and a marker drawn too. You'll need to equip the chain cutters to enter. Snip right through the metal. How how can I do that without the, the chain cutters? How would that work? Alright, it's interfacing, right? Okay, there's no way we're, we're, we're stopping in 92, but hold on. Let's see if we can get more, more interfacing up. To make it 97. There you go, chat. Same thing again. If it fails, a million coins. Not even close. Snip. The cutter goes through them like dead leaves. The links fall to the ground on the other side of the door. They sound like a yaya -ya as they hit the floor. Lieutenant looks worried. I know there's no stopping you, but let's at least make this quick. Glossy erotica covers the wall, wrinkled from, from, from moisture. What? How? 
how is there someone living in here and sleeping in here if this is closed? Do they go through the windows? Kuna de Ruter is the name on unfinished homework. It's from two years ago. Maybe I don't understand the chain. A phone book lies open on the table covering a stack of utility bills. Right next to it, in plain sight, sits a small bottle of amphetamine conveniently equipped with a straw. Lieutenant, I've located psychoactive substances on this table. Good, confiscate it. The minuscule amount of amphetamine doesn't see, doesn't interest the lieutenant in the slightest. He listens instead to something in the other room. Take the speaker from the table. He pocketed the bottles. Bottle as if it were the most natural thing in the world. All right. Lear stinks with something sour. Hey, how's it going? Pile of clothes, a bundle of clothes heaped on, on the bed, a stained parka, some towels, and a duvet, some socks even. In the dark, it looks like a nest. Hold up, Lieutenant, look at that pile of clothes. Mm hmm, the Lieutenant has covered his nose. Slowly reach out your hand. Something underneath there is breathing. It's not too late. No one's going to blame you for backing out. You don't, you don't have to do this. Just get out. Keep extending your hand toward the pile. Your hand touches a greasy duvet covered in cigarette burns and ketchup stains. You hear a growl. There's something alive underneath it. It's deep and suffering and suffering somehow. Pull the blanket off. You see a 60-year-old old fat red-headed man passed out from large amounts of alcohol and God knows what else. The smell of shit rises from his mouth. You don't have to take him down. He's already down. Kim, is this thing even alive? I'm afraid it is. Look, it moves. He points to a fleshy lump sticking out from the other end of the blanket. The limb seems to be twitching from time to time. And the other, the foot is camouflaged by a striped sock bearing the name Maxtor on the sole. Three toes are poking out of a hole. Maxtor is a gas company. He's wearing free socks from a gas company. They probably came with the bills. A groan rises from the man's throat, dry like a death rattle. He's trying to say something in his sleep. Perception, hearing, 97 again. Is this Kuna's father we're seeing? Judging by the color of his hair, I would say yes it is. Lieutenant's right. The man's unwashed hair bears a familiar ginger tone. Even the hair on his chest is coppery. The, lights, the light from the window falls into his half-open eyes. I was expecting something worse. I can't believe it. Kuno's dad isn't a loser. It must be someone else. <laughs> I think he's still quite bad. I mean, what he, what he has come to, Lieutenant tilts his head. This man won't be feeding his family anytime soon. Not that he was, but Lieutenant thinks to himself, at least he won't be beating his son. A pair of half-open bug eyes is staring back at you from the dark, empty and frozen. It's clear the person behind them is not awake. Hold on, what happened to his eyes? Can you tell? It happens to, to exceptionally committed substance abusers. They fall asleep with their eyelids still open. Not a pretty sight. He's going to sleep it off. I know this shit. This is serious damage. I'm still not sure he's, he's not dead. Suddenly, the man starts growling. Three words manage to escape his mouth along with a strong, a strong, a strong stench of alcohol. Fucking... Look, he's trying to communicate. Whisper, I took your amphetamine, old man. All right. Oh, that was close! Oh, shit! Oh, man, that was really close! And the man groans again, but his tongue keeps f failing him. It's impossible to make out the syllables. A hand emerges from the blankets trying to ge gesticulate something. Gesticulate something, sorry. And then it dawns upon you, clear and surreal. Pigs, he says. He's trying to call you pigs. What did you just say? His hands fall back on, on the bed, limp and defeated. A loud, a loud snore escapes his mouth. He's asleep again. At least he got to say to say his piece. Isn't it peace? Like, I? Hmm. Maybe we should help him somehow. What is there to do? We could turn him on his side so he doesn't choke on his own vomit. But he's already on his side. Excellent form. We could take him to Remedy or St. Baptiste. But he doesn't have money for medical services. The alms house would turn him down. They don't do charity for people who are trying to kill themselves. Besides, he'll be dead in a few. Lieutenant stops listening to him. Years? Months? Weeks? The pile of blankets grunts miserably. Whisper, I took your amphetamine, old man. Silence. Only heat emanates from the sleeping body. Leave. Well, that was fun. Alright, let's go give some drugs to Kuno.
Just a good question, asks Anton1689, purely out of curiosity, do you mean a million American or Canadian dollars? American. Not our fucking Monopoly money. American dollar dues. Last Show Joe 7 has resubscribed for 28 months. Holy shit. The Big 2-8. I really love this game. Glad to see you playing it. I'm really enjoying this game too. Yep. I, I really, really like this game. Oh, this did not take us where I thought it would. Why is this interactable? Hmm. Let's get in there later, I guess. There's lo lots of doors and not all of them are interactable if you can open them. Yeah, I really, really like this game. It's probably one of my favorites of, uh, of 2019 for sure. Yeah. Might even be number three. Below, um, below Baba is you and uh, Sekiro. In some ways it's above them. Like, like, like it's a different sort of game than those two. It's, it's almost it's like, it's not almost, it is. It's silly to compare them, but in terms of like my enjoyment of, of like just enjoying a game, like it's definitely up there. It's very entertaining. Uh, Ralph Bob's using this to say the wizard and the dragon. We link 1000 has resubscribed for 19 months with the message 19 months pog. It's a pog sub. Thank you very much. We link 1000. 19 months in pog patrol. Fuck this Kuno key. I took care of the drug situation. All right, so you got Kuno's kilo. He rubs his hands together. Here's how we do it. First, you give Kuno Kuno's kilo. Then Kuno gives you half back. That's how we split it. It's the best way, street way. Aren't you going to ask how I got past your dad? By ku kilo, you mean gram, right? All right, fair is fair. Give Kuno the vial. I'm keeping it. You don't need more drugs. You're 12. Don't give it to Kuno. I'm keeping it. I'm doing it all by myself. Give it to Kuno. I, I just want to give him the whole thing. Are you going to ask how I got past your dad? Word, is, word on the street is that you sent your little friend in dressed as a hooker, distraction style. That's some sick shit, he nods approvingly to Kim. Not a single muscle moves on the man's face. Kuno wants to hear all about it, but first we split the kilo. He leans in, then we shoot the shit. By kilo, you mean gram, right? Kuno knows what Kuno means. Kuno means gram. All right, fair is fair. Give Kuno the vial. Whoa, that's heavy. He waves the minuscule bottle around, then slips it into his coat pocket. Out comes another similar vial from the sock above his running shoe. Here you go, more than half in there. Kuno's fucking honorable like that. There is no movement on Lieutenant's face as he stares intently at the trash container. Now tell me, how the fuck are you still alive, pig? I looked around in there. It's not the easy life you've got going in that apartment. Kuno, I met your dad. There was a textbook with your name on it in the apartment. There were tons of unpaid utility bills there. Looked around in there. The fuck do you know about Kuno's life? Kuno's got got plans. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we got plans. Six meters underground, below pipe below piping from before the war. The collapsed remain of the Martinet storm drain system. There are two stolen flashlights with piles of batteries next to them. Beside two bed rolls in the dark, an opening into the lower tunnels. Kuno, I met your dad. Yeah, you do some... You do some Sambo shit, sneak in. He looks at the lieutenant. Is the hooker thing real? Sambo is an acronym for Samaritan Boxing. Graceful, uh, martial arts stuff. Sambo style implies stealth, cleverness, and cool. Just letting you know. What about Contact Mike? It was dark in there. We, we sneaked in and got out. It was, it was what you said. Kim dressed up as a hooker, full drag, distracted him. <laughs> Kuno, your dad is a half-dead alcoholic. He was sleeping under some clothes. What? His eyes become large and round. His posture changes. The swaying rooster motion stops for a second. Then he gets it going again, reorientating himself, reorienting himself. Fuck right, Kuno's dad was sleeping like a bum. He snaps back. Kuno told you. Kuno's dad doesn't give shit about anything. Fucking breaking and entering shit? That's nothing to Kuno's dad. You got lucky, pig. Kuno knew this. He points to himself. Kuno's fucking violent fiend dad's been drinking hard lately. Kuno knew you'd have a way in. Narrow window. Kuno window. Kuno window? Kuno window? Come on, kid. Just stop. Stop acting tough, kid. You don't have to be scared of him anymore. Whatever scary thing he might have been, now he is nothing. Yeah, Kuno's dad is fucking nothing. He pushes on bravely. Fucking coma shit. Stroke shit. Kuno's dad is so fucking violent, he's had a stroke many times. Shit. Kuno's gonna have one too. Gonna be just like Kuno's dad. Speed shit. Crime shit. Fucking on the bed. Kuno's gonna go out like Kuno's dad. Revachal West style. Stop saying all this sad shit, Kuno. The whisper comes smaller than usual. There is a touch of grief in there. Fuck you talking about... S Sorry, what the fuck... 
the fuck are you talking sad? The kid breathes in and out like a boxer. Kuno's, Kuno's got hard shit. He punches the air. Death shit. Nothing shit. You don't have to turn into that. Get get your fucking nun ass out of here before Kuno fucks it dead. He punches the air again. Foglet, you think because you brought Kuno one gram of speed, your friends now? Turn into, he pants from exhaustion, Kuno ain't turned into shit. Kuno is, Kuno is that shit. Kuno won. You won, Kuno. The relief is palpable. The little hat jumps up and down behind the fence. He did not win. There's a crack in there now, and it's spreading across the face of his certainty. There's a textbook with your name on it in the apartment. Yeah? He turns even redder. So fucking what? It says Kuno, not Kuno. Kuno de Ruder. Fuck you talking to Kuno about that kitty shit. That's a lame name, Kuno. I like it. Kuno. <laughs> That's a lame. <laughs> I like it. Kuno de Ruder. He's trying to fuck you again. Fuck out of here. Kuno knows it's fucking lame. That's why Kuno changed it. Kuno can change his name into anything. Gonna change my name into Foglet. Don't change your name into that, Kuno. There were tons of unpaid utility bills in there. Fuck right there were. Fucking three years or some shit. You can guess. Let me guess. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about them. There's no place. That's no place to live. You have to find somewhere else. Find a job. Pay them yourself. Your dad can't handle things anymore. Number one. Yeah, that's right. He swells with pride. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about the electricity and light shit. Just just wants to pound on people and drink. That's no place to live. You have to find somewhere else. That's right. It's a shithole. Kuno's going to move underground. Leroy Rayum shit? Ancient shit. Kuno's going to live in, in a fucking catacomb. Yeah, and it... Yeah, and a tomb, Kuno. The little one seems overjoyed at the prospect. Okay, let's conclude this business and the conversation. Yeah, pig, this shit is done. He spits on the ground, yellowish foaming spit. Now get the fuck out of Kuno's face. Kuno needs to drop the bomb. Okay, I'm off. Kuno doesn't fucking care. All right, I thought there was like we could buy fuck things from him. Kuno okay? Don't do some sort of musician. Was it the pig? Hey, just a message of some sort. No. Mm, okay. Foglet, that's my way of centering the word because the game already also censors it. If the game didn't censor it, I would just say it. But the game censors it, so so will I. Uh, thank you, Seb111, for the two month reset. Thank you very much. I don't have any cringe prepared today. Uh, what haven't we said in a while? Two months in the Yeet Fleet. We haven't said that in a while. Yeet Fleet. Call library? Okay, we call the library. Giving the drugs was a bad choice for pants. Really? Okay, I thought... Hmm. I thought it was so, so, such a low amount of drugs. Who cares? Reload for Kuno. I'm not a Redditor. Pick up the radio again. Uh, define whatever the owner of the armor boots. Yes, I got the mercenary's name and a few biograph biographical details. Are you ready? The tenant leads into listen, notebook in hand, shoot. The suit of armor was issued to an ordinary citizen named Ellis Cortenaire. That's E-L-L-I-S-K-O. Don't need to read it all. Exact date of birth unknown. He was signed into the Lelystad Country Neonatal Care Unit on 20th of February, 09. Neonatal Care? He was found as a newborn in a leaf compactor near an abandoned farm. Wow. He spent four months in, in the neonatal unit, survived apparently, and was assigned to a foster family at two. This is what the ICP... The insane clown posse knows about him. He was raised by foster parents, entered the Is Is Isbrand Military Academy in Vertifort at 17, then served in the Orionese forces till he was honorably discharged in 41, just a year before the 70s conflict. Then the armor followed him to Seminine, or at least I assume he did, and that's it. There are no records of his employment in Krenel or any of its other incarnations, or even him entering Revishal. Wait, he was found in a leaf compactor? It's a garden tool used to press leaves into these cubes. It's a detail the hospital had, the only detail in, in these files, so I thought it would be good for you to know. It is. Thank you, Alice. Is it, though? And you... Whoa, 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 whoa. Kim, Kim, Kim. You're my best boy, not Alice's. Any information on his foster parents? None, officer. Sorry. So all we have to connect him with Krenel is the armor. Even that is a small miracle. These organizations usually double-check their inventory. He leans closer and shouts, Thank you, Alice. Great work. Woo! 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 K! 
Kim, 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 what the fuck? You, you want to go on a date with Black Widow? What the fuck? Well, we have his name on the service record now. Move on. Why, why choose Black Widow when you can choose the Hulk? Let's go. A name. This is very good. Ellis Cortinaire, he says to himself. Sometimes police work is about human dignity, about giving back names to anonymous victims. I'm glad the inquiry was helpful to your investigation, officer. Did you have any other questions? I can't wait to Jamal Public Library. Hold on, officer. I've got Central Jamal Public Library on the line, and I've already introduced you to their librarian. Connecting the call in two, one. Yes, this is Central Jamrock Library here. A male librarian answers the call. How can I help you, officer? He sounds worried, yet ready to assist. This is how people get when the police call. I'm looking for any information that you can provide on Billy Majeen, a reader. <laughs> a reader! Billy, Billy Majeen, you said? Give me a moment. I'll have to check our database. He puts down the receiver. Librarian killed him. On Moreau Drive in Central Dramrock, in a darkened hall lit by orange desk lamps, far away from the noise outside, a middle-aged man taps commands into an old radio computer. A printout falls on the desk. Behind him, a lonely reader scours some dusty bookshelves, looking for a paperback. Shivers is, is, is best girl. Yes, hello. Are you still there? You can hear him fiddle with the printout. I found Billy Magine's home address. Is that alright? No phone number, unfortunately. They're too poor to have a phone line. Yes, home address is fine. Here we go, sir. Roos de Saint Gislain, 33. B oh, it's, is, is it that apartment that we couldn't open before? It's in Martinez, I believe. Capeside Apartments, it says. That's all. Do you have any other information on Billy Magin? It says here that they returned their last book just a few days ago, but I wasn't at work that day. Did you know someone who was? Marie? He covers the phone with his hand and yells out into the room behind him. Marie, do you remember a reader named Billy Magin? They returned a, a, a tie bolt book the other day the bolt book you hear someone answer from afar maurice what a woman yells then yes yes okay if it was the police she starts explaining something yes it was my colleague marie the what well, can we talk to her the lebrian the lebrian the lebrian what the fuck joe the librarian is lizard blaine the, the lebrian is speaking into the phone again she said it was was billy's husband who returned the book he also asked for this new sci-fi release loose radio radio city 87 but we don't have it yet good you have a name now so billy magine is a woman not a man how did your colleague know that it was her husband do you know the husband's name? Can Marie describe it, how the husband looked like? So Billie Jean's a woman, not a man. How did your colleague know it was her husband? Marie, Marie knows Billy. She's been working here longer than me. Sometimes her husband returns some books for her and then goes for a little drink later on the lookout. Do you know the husband's name? Sorry, no. Marie only knows him by sight. Can Marie describe to me how the husband looked like? Marie, a moment passes. She said it was an older man and that she's pretty sure he had a drink or two the last time she saw him. What was he wearing? How did he get out of here? Isn't there a blockade? How did he get to the Jam Rock Library? Uh, one second, librarian turns away from the phone again. I guess maybe it was days before the blockade came in? Hmm. Sorry, Marie wasn't really paying attention to any of that. All right, thank you. Happy we could help. Goodbye, officer. The librarian hangs up and the call gets redirected back to the station with soft click. Anything else you need from me? No, I think that's it. Thank you. Okay, close the door. I guess Kim got here, so... Eh. I don't know where, where Jamrock is. All right, let's go do this and then, um, okay, do you want to do this or we're going to do class, Classia? I think we want to do Classia because then we have to do the, the final Ayaya coin tally and then we'll, um, yeah, all right. We'll do Classia and then we'll do the Ayaya tally and then we'll, um, we'll end for the day. No, do this is short. Yeah, but we only have 10 minutes left. So un unless it's like, it's going to take us two minutes to get there. I like how no one in the story is comically evil, even Everett and Titus seem like they really care about Martin Hayes. At least, at least human people in the story to me are the people who robotically prattle their ideologies. Yeah, I like that too. I really don't like comic, comically evil stuff. Um, a lot of, um, I, I'm not gonna say a lot of, a lot of writers, but, but a lot of beginner writers, um, have, have their characters, their, their villains just be evil for the sake of it. They're, I'm so evil, 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 evil. Um, everyone, every character in, well, almost every character in fiction is, is the protagonist of their own story, which is pretty simple shit, but, uh, a lot of, uh, writers don't grasp that. But then when it comes to video games, a lot of writers don't have any freedom at all. So it's, it's not a criticism of video game writers. It's always good to see you. 
She cracks a weary smile, leaning back against the railing. Classroom might take long. Really? Classroom might take long. Yeah, I don't mind going over for one thing. I don't. I just don't want to go over for two things. I thought you guys would want to see this other than the, than the other thing. Howdy boys told us what was really ha told us what really happened. I understand. She puts her coffee mug on the table. Will Star Wars streams appear on YouTube? Yep, they will. Um, all the streams that we're doing right now, will, and like Star Wars streams, the Code Vein streams, these streams. I think there's a couple more too that haven't gone on YouTube. They'll all go on YouTube eventually. I'll render them together into multiple streams into one video, so th it's fewer uploads. I'm really behind on everything. Sorry. I'll, like, like apart from these like three-hour streams, like, three times a week, all of my work time is just Witcher, 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 Witcher. I can't even think about doing anything else. I understand she puts her coffee mug on the table. Just like that, no resistance. Her shoulders are slouched, her feet long and straight. Oh, damn, cheap yeah, fun. Yeah, before we get into this, um, yeah, so I'm going to do the tally soon. So the the, the big fund is going to be over soon. So, okay, here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a 20 a 2040 for redeeming Ayaya. All right? A special 2040 redeem Ayaya version. Okay, let's see if, if more people want to use this one to 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 uh, enable AI. Just like that, no resistance. Her shoulders are slouched, her feet long and straight. You don't look surprised you were expecting this. You lied to us, miss. You sent us on a runaround. Chill, I'm the cool cop, remember? You don't look surprised you were expecting this. I knew there was a chance you'd get them to tell you. It's what you do, you're the police. She winces, for what it's worth, I'm sorry for wasting your time. This is good, clear the air first between you two, then move on to questions. No, it's good. It's the opposite of that. This will let her dictate the terms of your Shush, I can't hear what she's saying. <laughs> oh god, if you knew if you if you knew we would find out eventually, why did you waste our time? Because of the Hardies, I couldn't just dispense with them. They were only trying to help me. She looks at her feet out of the shit I'd gotten into. That's not a good enough reason. Cool, I'm satisfied with this explanation. That's not a good enough reason. You're right, there's more and more. You answered the to the coalition government, and by extension, the moral intern. She reaches for a new cigarette. What's the RCM's involvement got with the moral intern got to do with this? The RCM isn't left out of the moral intern. You don't have to worry. You share a database with them. You send people to their court. She lights the cigarette. What's going on? What did you do? Just business, but bad business for some people in the moral intern. If I show up in your records, officer, they will find me. They. How is this still going, chat? How many monocoins did we just empty out of the economy? What's what's the what happens if they do? They will kill me, sir. If you follow my name, take me in for questioning, enter me into the into the moral intern mill. Get the whole servant Titus. There's a wince and a, a pain little smile. Well, that I'm fucked for nothing. This murder didn't have anything to do with me. Fucked. People after her, moral intern people. This is an Oranese lit. Here we go. For once, you, s you seem to have her off guard. Thank you, Volition. Actually, this murder did have a little to do with her. You said you studied Orni's lit. What is this fugitive? What is this? What is with this fugitive stuff? What? What did you have to do with these people after you? What happened here the night he died? I did. I also had a side job selling insurance that I was really good at. Oh, I see. I misunderstood the line. Okay. Um, I was really good at it. Got picked up by a bank. Competitive intelligence, they called it. After I, after that, I sort of, she smiles, transitioned out of the whole culture scene. What did you... 
What did you do to have these people after you? It's not nice, but it's not illegal, not here in Revachal, or even in Aranya. Aranya? What exactly did you do? Industrial espionage. I joined a business collective with the in intention of betraying them. I did my job well enough to be asked to do it again with a bigger company, the kind you really, really don't fuck with. I took their ledgers, two decades worth of accounting. He taps on his notebook. I need the names of the companies involved and who hired you. The job was Luzduin County Savings Bank. They, they sound small, but they're part of the loose cap conglomerate there was a second job the first was some pr printer company you wouldn't know them but she really destroyed them she still feels it as to who hired me for the job i don't know but they're after me too along with Lo loose cap and their friends in the mi she breathes out heavily once you're done once you're done in the competitive intelligence circuit you don't have allies you're radioactive loose cap these people engineer financial disasters in second world countries. The conglomerate also includes the Bank of Consecration, Earberg, and the popular Papa Lolo line of dairy products. Papa Lolo, don't just say it out loud. I'm sure there are people who have done much worse than that. Serves them right. When I am king, the savings bank will be the first against the wall. Oh, nice Radiohead reference. You're right. This is bad. You destroyed what people have built. I'm sure there are people who have done much worse than that. Sure, I'm not a war criminal, but it was bad. People lost their jobs. Good people, too. Not just Sisu. She shakes her head at the thought. A lot of people got hurt, she concludes. But that's just more of my shit you shouldn't have to deal with. You're solving a murder. That can wait. Look into her eyes. There's more. What did you do? I, she looks down into, in, in the, she looks down then into your eyes. One of them killed themselves because of me. She says it quickly, like she's said it a hundred times to herself to get used to the idea. Out of guilt. That's bad. How do you live with yourself? That's shake your head. Not easy to deal with. Nod. Let's get back to what happened here, okay? The young woman looks at, at her cigarette with melancholy. It's almost gone. What happened here the night he died? We were there. She points to the window. The silhouette of the bed is visible together. In bed, I mean. Tell me exactly what happened. Okay, she takes a deep breath. He was in a kneeling position. He had just entered me. I was on my back looking at him. I heard the window behind me shatter and I turned to look. There was a hole in the glass. I turned back to him. She breathes out. A moment's silence. His eyes were looking through me and his mouth was open. Dumb. I could see. I could. Her chest rises and falls with each word. She keeps herself together and says it. I knew he was dead before he fell down on top of me. Then what happened? You don't have to continue if you don't want to. Then what happened? He was heavy. I pushed him off and he fell to the floor there. She points to the, through the window. He only had his boots on. I bit the pillow, not to scream, then ran downstairs. There's a long pause. She just stands there, her arms at her sides. Then she continues. I waited for the second shot to come for me. I thought there would be one. It never came. She's forgotten about her cigarette. The butt has burned right down to her fingernails. Okay, so the shot definitely came from outside the window into him. And it had nothing to do with that that hole in, in the wall. Hmm. What, was that? What, what that's got to do with this? She's forgotten about her cigarette. The butt has burned right down to her fingernails. Your cigarette, miss. Oh, she looks at it and quickly tosses the butt aside. I'm sorry this happened to you. Shakes your head. Shake your head. That's a motherfucker. Sorry this happened to you. So am I. She immediately proceeds to light another one. What time was this? When did it happen? It would help us if you could be as precise as possible. 11.30 to 12.15. I don't know the exact time. Around midnight. That's okay. He mixed a note. Were you inebriated? Not as much as usual. He'd done a line plus, a nut, plus other things. I was drinking. This doesn't fit with the testimony of Titus Hardy. He said she was higher than usual. Titus, Titus said you looked pretty high. Oh yeah. She tilts her head. I did one of his lines just to clear my mind. My head. <sighs> Did you hear or see the shooter in the course of this? No. What did you do then? Nothing. I was trapped. I was stuck in my room downstairs. I was stuck in my room downstairs. I got some clothes on and crawled back up, drew the blinds. Blood was coming from his mouth. Not a lot, just a little. It was still on the floor, slouched. Sorry, he was still on the floor, slouched. I couldn't be there with him anymore. So I ran down and out of my room into the hallway down the stairs. I knew there would be people there. Run, woman. Run past them and out into the street where it's dark and people move to the lorries at the intersection as far as you can. Why didn't you run far away, far run from here? As a matter of fact, why are you here now? I already ran. I ran from the ran from an entire Asola. There is I can't run any further, not with these people. This is as far as it gets. What happened after you ran downstairs? Sylvia was tending the bar. She looks down. A lot of people were there. The Hardys were at the table in front of the stage. I think the union box was full. Ruby was there too. They were having such a good time. She pauses. I sat down and they all welcomed me. I didn't even have to say anything. Ruby knew something was wrong. Before we continue on, who is Ruby? Ruby, you know, the leader. The leader of what? The Hardy boy. She says 
she says as if it's self-evident. I thought Hardy was a leader of the Hardy Boys. Well, nominally, yes. Ruby's the one they go to when things happen, like when they need to take care. When they need to, when things need taken care of, she's the organizer. We haven't re met Ruby, right? Okay, let's go on. What then? Well, Ruby said, let's talk upstairs. I showed her the room. I've known these people since December. They know my situation, that, that I can't leave a paper trail. Ruby was the first one I told. She said she'd take, she'd take care of this. It's what she does, you know, take care of things. I helped her get the body to the bathroom. We used the belt to pull him up under the shower to keep him upright. To mislead you, they were tampering with the body. To produce lividity matching a hanging, yes. This is concurrent with your doubts at the autopsy about the coloring being. I knew it. The coloring below his lower limbs looked faint. About half an hour had passed since the moment of death. She nods. Mm -hmm. You were late. The marks would be faint by that time. He makes a small po pointing motion with his pen. It's meant for you. Then what did you do? Ruby went outside to talk to Titus and the boys. I was just looking at Lily. Lally. In the bathroom, I had to put his clothes back on, his armor too. It was tough. I've seen him take, him up, take it off and put it on many times. I took... Ruby, it took Ruby maybe half an hour to come back with Titus. I'd gotten him ready by then. They carried him out. I knew what they were going to do, make it look like a hanging. Ruby said they would. What did you do while they were hanging him? Ruby said to wait here. She also said I wouldn't see her for a while, that we should lay low or something. So I did. Why didn't, why didn't you go along with the story then? You just couldn't let him die as a rapist because you were, because you really liked him. Hmm. This Ruby, where is this Ruby now? I don't know. I haven't seen her since. We need to take this question to the Hardy Boys. Interesting. Why did this Ruby go through? It's so much back and forth upstairs between her and the Hardy Boys. Interesting. Why did this Ruby go through so much trouble to hide something someone else did? Look into this later. What are you doing? Coming up with a theory. A game theory. She said Ruby knew something was wrong before she said anything. How come? It was loud downstairs. She couldn't have heard the shot. It was Ruby. It is ominous. You already coming up with theories that put blame on someone other than Classia. <laughs> oh, I'm really happy we did this volition check. It's so good. When it happened, did you hear a gunshot? When he was shot, she thinks I may have. I don't know. I couldn't hear anything over the glass exploding. The gunshot wasn't that loud. This is something to keep in mind when assessing the distance of the shot. Did you kill... Did you kill Ellie? What? She gathers the last vestiges of her strength. Why would I put myself through this ins this insanity? Get myself cornered like this. There's a silence. The wind picks up. He wouldn't have died if it weren't for me. I know that. But I would never hurt him. He was a serviceman. He must have had a gun lying around close to her hand. A military weapon using jacketed ammunition. Now you guys suddenly have theories pouring out when they're obviously just stabs in the dark. Downstairs people have this crazy idea that you killed him. It's okay if you did it in self-defense. He must have had a weapon nearby. Did you use that? It's okay if you did in self-defense. I did not kill him to defend myself from rape, she says. I told you before, that wasn't what happened. True, sire, tis true. Yeah, but yeah, downstairs to the crazy idea you killed him. I'm sad to hear that. They must have said it, it, said it in some fit of frustration or under pressure. They couldn't have meant it. I've talked to them after it, after it happened. No one has implicated me. He must have had a weapon nearby. Did you use that? No, I specifically asked him not to carry firearms when he was with me. He only had his stupid armor. The bullet in his head, it was jacketed, military grade. Who else here has a military rifle? I don't know. His friends have rifles. Maybe those psychos did it. Coalition military have rifles. It was Joyce. Joyce shot him from the boat. I'm not a munitions expert. I did not shoot him. She might have been a tad disingenuous when she avoided talking about the bullet in his head before. Look who's waking up from a thousand years of sleep. You lied to me about this bullet before when, when I said he was shot. You said you're confused. I've said I'm sorry. What more do you want me to say? I did my best not to lie. I, it didn't always work. I'd like to answer some other questions, miss. Like what? She waits, her light light brown eyes wandering over the floor, over your face. Could the people could the people after you after you have him could the people after you have killed him? Yeah, that makes sense. I just can't read it. That's the first thing that went through my head when I heard the, the glass break. And I thought they'd found me. They'd, they've killed him to punish me. All last week, I've tried not to talk to anyone or be seen with anyone. She looks at her cigarette so they wouldn't be hurt. I've come to understand, however, this is paranoia. What happened didn't have anything to do with me, but maybe it did. I just don't know. She shakes her head. I don't know anything. We can't go after loose scap. Not yet. There are other saner leads. I don't ask you to, Lieutenant. If there's one thing I know, is that you'll get nothing from here. So, sorry, nothing from there. 
If they want to kill me, they'll kill me. If they want to toy with me, they will. She's come to this conclusion weeks ago. Why did you call the cops if you're hiding? Because I'm an idiot. The answer comes fast. Idiot? She's nothing of the sort. So you would have us believe, but you're not. You have to understand that people around here, no one was making the call and he kept rotting and then they picked his clothes off and that little fucker threw stones at him. Her jaw is clenched, her throat moves. It takes all her strength not to cave in and sob once, just one time. He kept throwing stones at him for three days. I could hear the thud, thud. She shakes her head. So I called you. I hope with all my heart it's not the last thing I do in Revishal. She definitely called the cops. That was task complete. It could, it could not have been a lie. That is impossible. Oh god, that was a lie too. Who made the call then? <laughs> oh, this game's fantastic. It's fantastic. She did, of course. When was the window change point to it? Last week, Angus and Titus's brother, I think he's called Tibbs, took care, took care of it. She takes a drag. You should have another look at the window after this. Reconstruct the scene. It might be there in her bedroom inside. Yes, you see the glass sparkling out of the corner of your eye. I think we're done here for now. Conclude. She nods silently. She doesn't even smoke. Just picks up the cold coffee and, and holds it in her hands. Um, Lieutenant glances at you, then at the door. He's thinking, are we done here? Or should we arrest her? She's a flight risk and she lied to you. She could, she should be taken into custody. No, that won't be necessary. Just leave her alone. She's been through enough. She doesn't need this police brutality. <laughs> this guy won't budge. You have to wake Multiface up forcefully if you want to continue pu pushing her. In God's name, wake up. Who, what, dear God, you've been lied to. She can, she could have killed her lover and lied to everyone. She's not candid at all. She's smoke and mirrors and will-o'-wisps. She probably didn't give you her real name either. Why would she? Arrest her immediately before she further entangles you and you in her web of lies. Take it easy. Don't overcompensate with this course correction. Ask questions first. Yes, yeah, start at the top. Choose, choose at the bottom. It's how we've always done it. No rush. <laughs> <laughs> to lieutenant oh my god kim why why have we not arrested her yet you know i think you didn't make that call to the station your real name isn't clash yet I i'm oh uh what if i told you you're under arrest miss turns to the lieutenant you know i think you didn't make that call to the station i did she takes a step forward what is this i called your desk or whatever it is the numbers are all over town call 8 102 for emergencies there was an older woman on the other end it sounded like she was smoking she took my complaint she coughed that is the emergency emergencies desk number anyone could know that sire by looking around and calling the desk i don't believe a single word she says what time did you make the call thursday night it was late sometime after 12. lieutenant nods in in, in your direction it checks out anyone could know the number and that someone coughed it means nothing but I know the time of the call too she breathes in I know I have not been 100% truthful with the officers but I am now she sounds like a 6th grader apologizing your real name isn't Clasia I'm, I'm, I'm Ando I agree lieutenant turns to her you wouldn't give us your real name not when people are after you okay her voice cracks suddenly like there's a gar garrote around her neck it's garrote right not garrote I think it's garrote okay what okay it's not you admit it you admit to it. I knew it. Good. You can tell me the truth. You log your work every week. It's all transmitted to commissar. I couldn't just, I couldn't just beg you not to enter my name. So I lied. Like I lied before. Like I did at LS, LCSB. I have to lie all the time. She looks at her hands. Her finger, fingernails, fingernails are ah, chipped white. I'm so tired of it. Was the passport bullshit too? That passport you keep hidden? No, it's submerged in a plastic boy on the coast in the reeds. Oh, that's what that's what the uh, the lawyer woman has gone to find in the reeds. It just doesn't say Clashy Amando. It says Anok Major Smith. Falsified documents, passport and visa. She nods, given to me by my employer. I can't even use them. My employer probably leaked the name Major Smith to hurt me. Why would they do that? I didn't show up at the. Rondez, Rendezvos. They don't take that lightly. She rushes to explain. I didn't show up because I was afraid they'd do something to me. The job was finished. I'm just a liability now. She fears an arrest right here and now. This is, has been an awful turn of events for her. Where is the boy? 
I know it's rendezvous. It's a joke. I, I said it earlier. Oh, for fuck's sake. West of the boardwalk in the reeds on the coast there. She points toward a clump of ruins on the western horizon. I put it there when I first arrived. Haven't been there since. I'm not sure I could even find it now. It's useless. Wait. West of the boardwalk in the reeds. We have to check this boy out. Accept task. Lieutenant makes a note of it. Chat didn't know. Chat didn't know. You're welcome to it. It's in the reeds northwest of here, past a broken sewage pipe, right he right near the water line. Tell me your real name. It's Katarzyn Alkazji. Alakzji. Katar. Katarzyn. Okay. The smile on her face is timid, almost painfully so. It's a grad name, Zimsk or Yugograd in origin, not occidental at all. Smells of motor oil, taiga, economic desolation, and rock music infused alcoholism. It also makes Clasha almost an alacronym for Katers. Katerzin Al Alakazi. Okay. Wait, Clasha is an abbreviation of Katerzin Al Alakazi? She nods. It was a sentimental thing. I wanted to be more, more me here this time, so I used my nickname. A nickname who gave you the same thing, Klasia? A teenage boy a million years ago. Hold on, Katazin Alizji is not an originese name, is it? It's not even Mundi, it's Grad. My parents were Zimsk immigrants, but I'm nationalized. Orange, Orangees. All I remember is Oranyi. Uh, it's silent. Sorry, she's silent. Alkazi is my father's name. I'm getting really tired, sorry. Uh, finally, we meet Katazin Al Alizji. I'll keep calling you Klasia. I'll just call you Miss or 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 Oranyi Disco Dancer. Uh, finally we meet. She nods her round eyes meet yours. They seem moist from the wind on the roof. Enough, conclude. She nods back, her back straight, ready for whatever is next. Kim, why haven't we not arrested her yet? Why have we not arrested her yet? There may be grounds here, at least for an extended detention. A little whimper, the young woman hears you. She's looking around. What if I told you you're under arrest, Kat Katazine? Oh, it changed. But I haven't done anything. She backs up against the railing with a forced smile on her face. Anything illegal. She purposefully misrepresented information crucial to the case. Fucking mind games enough. <laughs> Hey half Light, how's it going? That's right, gang. Stern and merciless now. Stern and merciless as we reel her in. You misrepresented information about the case. Without the Hardy's confession, we'd know nothing. You're a suspect in a murder investigation. You're a flight risk. This is this is all the reason I need. You're not playing you're not playing these mind games with me anymore. Wag your finger next to your head. You're coming in. Industrial espionage. We uphold international law here in the zone of control. Probably too. Lieutenant produces a pair of handcuffs. Please no. Her eyes become round with fear. She tries to back further off. I think I know who did it. I know who shot Le Lely. I, you know it wasn't me. Why would I do it? I have no motive. What do you know who shot him? Kim arrests this woman before she can say anything else. Ignore her theory. What do you know who shot him? She's silent for a moment. For a second. As if looking into herself for certainty. Then in a hush voice she says. Gearing up for this betrayal is hard for her. Ruby. Oh! <gasps> Okay, that's it for Ruby. Wrap it up. <laughs> Why do you think it was her? She had this thing for me ever since I met her and the boys downstairs. She's been pretty frank about what she wants and what is that? Sex and more. I made the mistake in confiding in her. I told her I was on the run. She started protecting me. It became an unhealthy relationship. When I started spending time with Lily, she says in a near whisper, she told me to end it. Said there would be shit if I didn't. It was not a good meeting. We stopped talking after that, but... I don't understand. The lieutenant sounds incredulous. He still has the cuffs in his hand. What exactly in your relationship made you think she's romantically... What exactly in your relationship made you think she's romantically interested in you? She says she's in love with me. She even asked me to run away with her when I told her I'm a fugitive. She started she started developing notions about our relationship. And you let her on, Lieutenant narrows his eyes? A little. I was flattered, you know? But then I had to let her off, and it was not easy. I came to regret being friendly with her. She looks at her feet. We may be kissed, nothing more. Sounds like she was fixated with you. This is just sensationalism and guesses. I don't know what to make of this. I know what it sounds like. That's why I didn't want to tell you before. She raises her eyes to meet yours, but she knew what had happened when I came downstairs. Surprised she knew Lily was dead. She so somehow she knew Lily was dead. She wasn't surprised at all. When we came up here, she was as calm as a stone too. She cleaned it all up like she had a plan. This is a familiar theory. You had it too, remember? Could it be that Ruby was covering up after herself, the lynching? Yet again, you're coming up with this. The worst thing is, it may be true. <sighs> Volition's on it! 
When Ruby said there would be shit happening if you didn't end your relationship with a deceased, was she threatening you? She came over one night drunk, said she turned my life into a living hell. I've been threatened before, so I can tell when someone knows how to do it. And she's a pro, she must be, to keep the hardies in line. I tried severing ties with her after that. I thought it had worked, but she looks through the window of her room. Some of that fear is still with her, she exhales sharply. What are you talking about? She's afraid you'll arrest her. And how could she have killed him? You said there was a secret route there, right? She points to the other door that leads to the pinball workshop. Oh, what if we haven't found that? She could have come up here through there, then taken the shot right here where I stand. It was too dark outside. I wouldn't have seen her. Interesting theory. Did she know that door exists? Had you been out here with her? Yes. She's been up here many times. She used to come to drink on the roof when the young woman falls silent. Her mouth moves without a sound. You're thinking about the peephole, right? The, perf the per perforation in the pinball workshop wall. She would have seen us. My bed is right next to. She's forgotten her cigarette in the ashtray. You mean to suggest she made it? No, she shrugs it off. No, why would she do that to herself? No, I just remembered you told me about it and she's not really sure. It was right above the bed. She could have seen all sorts of things from there. Don't let your imagination run wild here, sire. Keep it on track. Okay, that's it for Ruby. Wrap it up. Okay, and what? Arrest the <laughs> Arrest the liar now. Who? Who? Her. Stop letting her distract you. That's all good, but I think we should still take her, take you in just in case. Step a little closer. Okay, but I'll keep, but I'll keep you here, Miss, for now. Back off completely. Okay, we definitely need to arrest her. Still, she says, her voice breaking. After, after all this, sir, please. It's a shitty world, and I know I'm shitty too. I, I know. Her hand turns into a fist, slowly crushing a cigarette she's still holding. But I don't deserve to be sent to, to the mole intern and ground into paste just because I disturbed the sanctity of accounting. It's some multinational. She's gearing up for a last stand. This is it. What do you deserve then? What other choice? What all? What other option do I have? I've made my choice. Decide what to do with her. What other option do I have? You have those station calls, right? Where I have to show up at the station, or, or I'll become a fugitive you can write me one you don't have to take me in right now i promise i won't go out anymore at night i'll be right here you're already a fugitive i know you can do that just let me come in on my own in two months or maybe even one month that's all i need you do have the form he looks at your ledger that's it i'm calling it kim is beyond compromise <laughs> <laughs> definitely sire what do you deserve then uh i don't know she throws away the cigarette to spend my days with smoke and, and drink and dance, swallowing and shit, just like everyone else. What will have changed in two months or one month? Everything could change. She looks she looks around. The city, the extradition rules, the people after me could be in jail, or maybe Revachal. She falls silent. There's desperation there in that silence, a cornered animal looking for a way out. Maybe Revachal could be free. I could be tried in a free Revachal, an independent state that doesn't need that doesn't hand its detainees over to the moral, moral intern. A free Revachal. There's a low distant rumble on the motor track. A great machine shaking the pillars down south. Electricity runs up your spine i find that hard to believe mess the hank of stringle in his hands what was that feeling it's coming what i also find it hard to believe i do like the sound of that another revachal free independent not on my watch this has got nothing to do with anything i also find it hard to believe don't the world can change it has changed before she looks at you frozen to her spot that's not the answer she was hoping for thought that you were some kind of patriot or communard did she this was her last card. There is nothing more she can say. The final decision is yours. You alone stand on the throne of the throne of your mind. I've made my choice. She looks at you in silence, her face filled with fear, lips parted. Wait, if you arrest her, Kim will have to transport her. You'd be without your partner for the rest of the day. Oh no! Shut up, he's making a decision and it's his to make. Kim, arrest her before this drags out any longer. Let's write you a station call. Kat Katerzine, if you miss it, I can't help you anymore. I'll let you off the hook for now. Don't make me regret it. I think I think she should be arrested. I think she should be arrested. I will escort you to the motor carriage outside, miss. With a muffled wisp whimper, she extends her wrists, their white bony exposed below the rolled up sleeves of her jumpsuit. He puts the handcuffs away. These won't be necessary. I will take you to Station 57 myself and slow the extradition process as much as I can. It will, it may, look at all these people! Look at all these people in chat who are fucking compromised. You, you, Volition's trying to hold the fucking line is telling you that you're compromised. And look, look at all this shit. Look at all of you compromised. As compromised as, as, as fucking Shivers and, and Half Light and fucking Scooby-Doo and, and Empathy and all this other shit, alright?
Kim's compromised, everyone's compromised, me and Volition holding the fucking line. Can't believe you guys. And maybe I bet I bet you a Venn diagram, people that want to enable a Yaya, people that are compromised, just just, just it's just one fucking circle. It's just one fucking circle. It may be possible to, to stall indefinitely, but you will be safer there for the purposes of this investigation. He turns to you. I can do this on my own. She's not an immediate flight risk. See you tomorrow morning, officer. Downstairs of the whirling and rags are outside your shack. All right, so let's reload and do this at the end of the day because this was kind of shit. As you look back, you think, so love did do him in after all. I was right. If it weren't for her, he would have not been there. The shot, the shot would have not have connected with his soft plate. I already missed Clashia. I did the right thing. I know I did. Feels good, doesn't it? Doing the right thing. I already missed Clashia. Of course you do, Harry. Everyone does. Gone forever, sire. Thee shall never findeth another mistress quaint like her. Quaint like her? Finished thought. All right. All right. So here we are, chat. So this is the last, um, this is the, the your last chance to throw in some Ayaya coins because I'm going to do the tally. This is probably going to take me like 10 minutes. Fuck. Um, yeah, so this is last chance. Double amount of coins today. It's about to end. So if you want to have like, uh, if, if you only have 2,000 coins, there's one for you. If you have 10,000, there's one for you. If there's, you have 20,000, there's one for you. Uh, there's also spend it on literally fucking nothing instead. So there we go. Uh, and while that comes in, thank you to uh, Seb111 for the two and three sub. That was a, a long time ago, Seb. I'm sorry. I didn't see this until now. Thank you very much, Seb11. Hopefully you're still here. Thank you, Burgers Lettuce, for the 313 sub with the message LAMIO. I don't know what that's in a reference to, but I'm going to guess that I said something funny. Thank you for laughing and appreciating my shitty humor, Burgers Lettuce. Thank you, Swampus, for the 213 sub. That kind of sounds like swamps. Scree, scree. Uh, thank you, Swampus, for the 213 sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, UTEMT6, for the new sub. A new, a new sub for this. Thank you very much. Welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to the Pickle Jar. Welcome to Pout Patrol. And thank you, Louis Joestar. Is that a... Thank you very much for the 11 month three sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Louis. All right, so let's see. How many do we have? All right, so I need to um, to make a, a thing here. Okay, so you guys are just going to have to... Just accept that I'm honest about this because like I, I can't I can't show you how many came in, but I, I'm sure someone kept track. Ayaya coin bullshit. Alright, I'm doing a file. Okay, so Ayaya Monocoin Fund got forty. Meryl, Sunley, Wolf, Gashiko, Z yeah, I'm not reading them all out. It got 40. All right, so the 20, 20K cash in, cash in equals 40. All right. And I'm going to use a calculator, even though I can do this math in my head, because I don't, I don't want to fuck it up. So 20,000 times 40 is 800,000 times 2, because it's double, is 1.6 million. 1.6 million. All right, so that's how many coins we got from the big AI on Monocoin fund. All right, so I'm calling it right now. They're, they're not duplicates after now. So this is it. You can't you can't hand them in anymore. I'm going to get rid of the, the other rewards, actually, so we can't do it anymore. So here we go. Oh, no, if I get rid of them, I won't be able to see how many people handed them in, did I? Shit. All right. Please, please don't hand any more in right now. <laughs> you pause it. Oh, you can do that? Oh, thank you. All right. All right, so I'm marking all these as, as complete. Wow, mods can do this too? Oh, damn. All right, I don't think mods should have that power. Oh, man, should mods have that power? <laughs> all right, so five people use 20K on literally nothing. All right, so that's 100,000 times two. So 200K was spent on literally nothing. Congrats. 
Congrats. That could have been 200k on, on Ayaya. All right. Uh, 10,000 on literally nothing. 10,000 on literally nothing was 25 people. 25 people on literally nothing. Good job. Good job. So that's um, 20, 20. No, it can't, it can't be like that. Let me do, let me do the calculator because I'm too tired. Basic math, 500k, that's much better. 500k, all right, so it's 500k. After being doubled. Wow, Ilseroth among them, damn. Okay, so special Ayaya, um, Special 2040 absolutely nothing reward has over a hundred and it doesn't tell me how many are here. Oh, it doesn't tell me how many are here. All right, so here we go. I have to count it manually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Oh, now it reset. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Is it still got over a hundred? Okay, so there's 50 in each. So how about I just I just keep going until I run out of pages and I just multiply it by how many pages and if it's and if it's over then that's fine. Can I just do control F? How can I do control F on, on the on the rewards when it just only displays like like 50 on each? I don't understand how that could work. Just count pages. That's what I'm doing now, yeah. I'm just counting pages now. Okay, we're at 150 for absolutely nothing reward. Oh god. This was a mistake. Okay, so it was 150. 150. A hundred and fifty. Okay. Let me double check. Yeah, it was 150. Okay, so 150. Hundred and fifty times two thousand and forty is three hundred thousand three hundred thousand six hundred times two, 600 and 12K, 612K. So congratulations, um, Fighters of the Weebs for, for collectively spending today, if I add it all up, uh, 1,312,000 coins on literally fucking nothing. Joe accidentally redeemed 2040 for nothing at all. Could you please count the coins for the fun? Absolutely not. You should be more careful. As as the leader of the Ayaya Axis, I'm actually disgusted that you would make such a such a stupid mistake. And I'm starting to think that maybe you're an anti-Ayaya plant. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, so 
a Yaya Monocoin Fund 10k version had over 100 as well. So I'm just going to go down this and, and get to and see. And we're going to get to 50 and then 100. And I'll probably count the third time because I doubt there's more than 150. Okay, there's 50 gone. Here's the next 50. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. All right, there's 100. One, two. Oh, it's 102. Nice. 102. So 102 for the 10K one. 10K cash in, 10 to cash in equals 102. Okay, so 102 times 10,000 times 2 is 2,040,000. Congratulations, weebs. Oh, man. So you guys did you did, you guys did way more than I thought. All right, so I still have to do the special Ayaya uh, 20, 2041. Um, but I just want to say that because you guys, like, did this so well, like, I, I, I feel kind of, like, emboldened that you guys might do it. So... Okay, so as, as a special follow-up, tomorrow... Every single 20k cash in is worth a million. So there you go. So as, as, as a reward for doing so well today, every 20k that you cash in tomorrow is worth a million Ayaya refund monocoins. So there you go, guys. I'm really proud of you that you were able to come together like this. All right, so let's do the 2041. One, two... A million for every 20k tomorrow. The spending 20k on nothing counts as a million. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 counts as a million tomorrow. Why are you guys mad? I thought you'd be happy. It's a million. Okay, so that's 200, sorry, 100 now. I'm on the third page for a 2041, the cash in. Okay, that's 150, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, oh, we're over 200 now, damn. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's over three hundred? Okay, we'll keep going then. Alright. Hi baby Kate, how's it going? That's a nice smile. Daddy just owned the weaves. Can you say weaves? Two fifty. Could you imagine the person that comes in tomorrow and uh, and does the twenty k on literally nothing? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I 
I thought you guys would be happy for a chance to get it's 301. Damn, 301 exactly. I thought you guys would be happy for a chance to take a million coins off for 300. Oh, I guess not. 301. All right, so let's see. You did exactly as what I predicted. You said you went. No, no, you predicted something different. You predicted if if we would enable it with one other one afterwards. I was pretty angry when you fought that up because I was like, damn, he's so close. But no, I literally asked you if you do this. You do. You said no. I, hey, I said that that wasn't the trap. I was very careful. You said is the trap that you're gonna do fucking this thing, and I'm like, nope, that's not the trap. The trap was something else. 301 times 20. It's not a trap though. It's a generous opportunity for weeb kind. All right, so 2,040 coins. Uh, sorry, 2,040. Uh, yeah, coins uh, times 301 people that cash it in is 614,040, and times that by two is 1.2 million, pretty much. So one point. Uh, let's just make it 1.3. Let's make, round it up to 1.3, just just for fun. Okay, so the grand total of spending on nothing it was 1.3 million, and the grand total of spending it on a yaya was 1.6 million plus 2 million and 40,000. Let's just make it an even 20, 2 million because I made the other one 1.3 million just to make it easy. And 1.3 million. For a grand total of 4.9 million, I will round this up to 5 million. 5 million, 5 million mana coins. That's actually pretty good. I'm impressed. God damn. Like, even without the double thing, that would have been 2.5. I'm actually really impressed that you guys got 5 million mana coins off, off the thing. God damn. All right. So seven becomes two. There you go. Nine, nine, two, five. All right, there you go. Congratulations, weebs. Congratulations, weebs. 80k for 80k for Fana. I, I, I rounded it up so hard. I rounded up so hard, and you're still just scraping for every little every little advantage. Every little advantage after rounding it up so hard. Fine. Okay, I'll take the 80k off. At the cost of getting rid of the rounding. <sighs> nah, I'm just kidding. Alright, so it goes down to that. Alright, there we go. Honestly, Joe, burning the fire is a pandemonium. I specifically asked or something like that, and you said you wouldn't do something like that. Yeah, but I lie. <laughs> Who said I wasn't allowed to lie? <laughs> when was that in the rules? I ain't Monokuma. <clears throat> so what's up, Lily Bell? This baby hasn't really napped more than half an hour all day. Okay. So I want to put her in the crib, but I know when I do, she's gonna scream. We're so. we're we're done. We're done. I came to see. I have I have some I have another fan art to to put on the screen. Choo choo, full stream ahead. Yeah, that was that was pretty much today, huh? <laughs> uh, there's another one here too. Trick or treat, Mr. Anderson. It's not Halloween yet. Get lost. Mr. Anderson, that's not The Witcher. How about I give you 20,000 monocoins and you get all the yaya you want? Make it 40k for making us wait. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> 
wrap it up by my own stream to do. Oh, I'm sorry, Fritz Imperial. Sorry, sorry. A, th a, th a thousand pardons. Um, thank you to Nine Psionic for the new sub of Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Clawfist. Thank you, Some Straw Man, <laughs> for the two one three sub. <laughs> I like your name. Clawfist. Uh, thank you, Parallax Gamer, for the 200 bits. I mean, I thought this was an elaborate ploy to purge all the weebs, so I guess we have an, a, benevolent, a benevolent god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and thank you, Olidus, for the 1613 sub. Thank you very much. Clawfist. Clawfist. Can you say Clawfist? Please don't. Don't say Clawfist. Say Mama. No, 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 no. Uh, that's it, everything. That's everything, right? Did I wrap everything up? Review quests, re requests. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so I need to take away those those special uh, cash-ins, and that's it. Alright, so thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to save your mana coins for tomorrow. Every 20k is worth a million tomorrow. So, so make sure you, you save them up for tomorrow. Get, get that a uh, yaya yeah, yeah, fun down. See you guys later. I love you. <laughs>